Welcome to Bridgetown from the uh, Bridgetown Comedy Festival in Portland, Oregon. Harmon Town is now in session. Oh, yeah. Please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmon Town, Mr. Dan Harmon. Oh, family. <laughs> uh, thank you. Jeff, when you warm up the crowd when we go to Portland, uh, and you talk about how great Portland is, and you ask them how long they've been in Portland, what do you think I'm going to talk to them about? You're, you're doing my act. I don't have an act. I don't do magic tricks. Uh, he, he's, that's a, that was half my act. I love Portland. I'm, gl I'm, glad you're, I'm glad you're warmed up, but now I got nothing. Portland, Portland can bear both of our love, Dan. Oh, it can. It can bear everybody's. It's a wonderful town. What's your favorite thing about Portland, Oregon? I love the feeling of ass-kiss exhaustion, of, <laughs> of, of, of loving a city so much that you get, you get mad. Yeah, like, <laughs> fucking fuck Portland. Uh, <laughs> uh, every time uh, Aaron and I come here, we extend our stay by a couple more days because we, we're constantly, like, I'm sure every person from Los Angeles talks about moving here, I'm sure. We, we have to be typical. Um, and, and, and so we keep, we keep staying here longer and longer because we just, we just want to get mad at something. We're just like, we got to find out what these people are bad at. <sighs> we get, what, what are you bad at? Parallel parking. Parallel parking. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. I'll believe it. Um, you what, 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 what is the worst thing about being in Portland? Like, is there a thing that's, that you guys are known for being shitty at besides parallel parking? Asshole. Merging? Asshole drivers. Passive, passive aggression. It's <laughs> very interesting. Some, some, some girl pointed at somebody else and did passive aggression. <laughs> <laughs> passive aggression, and then they nod their head like, tell him, Kevin, what do you mean? <laughs> Fucking uh, Kevin, he's the worst. <laughs> your yogurt shop that won't let anyone in unless they turn off their phone. Um, you guys love yogurt still, right? It's still 1993. <laughs> And Seattle. Um, the, uh, I, the, if there's anything, the, like, 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 I'm telling you now, I'm kind of a Portland expert in one degree because I, 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 one aspect is I'm only ever walking around your town. So four or five visits to Portland, I feel comfortable saying their homeless population is very distinct. Like, yeah. and it's not like, like in San Francisco, the homeless population is like, I think it's like they're like Mad Max homeless people because. <laughs> Who doesn't want to be a homeless guy in San Francisco? Like, it's like, it's high stakes. So it's like, they're actually like, like people who could own homes here or in LA, when you become homeless, you want to be in San Francisco so that you feel less homeless. So I, like, so the, the homeless people in San Francisco have like garbage can lids for, for vests. And they have like gimmicks, like they do card tricks. It's a fucking racket, man. It's like, it's like a full-time job. I, I was walking down the road here on East Burnside and uh, is that where we are, right? Yeah. Uh, thank you, wow. Uh, They're pat. sharp. It's 4 p.m., by the way. We're not gonna be funny at 4 p.m., <laughs> but you guys are gonna be very like on I, your shit. And that's I was, always good. Uh, I want like, three cups of coffee. Yep, 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 yep. The, the, the comedy rule is that nothing's funny when the sun's out, but we're in Portland, so the sun's never out, so it's perfect. <laughs> I was walking up the road to uh, just, just right here by Sizzle Pie, and there were two uh, just good and proper homeless dudes. Like, there were two guys hanging out, like kind of middle-aged white guys that looked like, like your proper art department winos. And uh, I was... <laughs> Very well-designed homeless people you guys have here. They have, like, cool right, tattoos, we got, we got Steve dogs. Agee, Steve Agee laughing like the Phantom of the Opera up there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were dead. <laughs> I forgot we Go got. <laughs> so I was, uh, I was walking down the road to go, to go get some sizzle pie, which I quite enjoy. And these two guys were sitting there in a doorway, like like uh, lurking, and uh, like just like kind of supine and sharing a beer. And I, the, a guy started to like gesture to me and say something. And, it, and under normal circumstances, that would be, uh, brother, can you spare a dime? Have you, have you got any spare change? Kind of stuff. He goes. Nice coat, man. Oh my God! 
He didn't want shit. He wanted to fucking enjoy my coat. I've been getting that for three days. I was Aaron got me this at at shirt for the Star Wars at at shirt. And, oh, the whole maybe okay. So they're faking it because they're like cool shirt, bro. Wait, 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 were they just here in the, in the doorway, just on the on, on the block right here? Well, I don't everywhere. No, multiple homeless people loved my at at shirt. <laughs> no, they didn't. They're Portland homeless people, and you guys are secretly vain. <laughs> And they are. This is the biosphere. We're just we're just but, learning this now. They're like they're like living on the methane of this ocean floor, because there's no sun. So they're like, okay, compliment their hair and their shirt. That's the difference that, between that, a Portland homeless that, guy that lives he, to see a homeless tomorrow. He, even the homeless people are passive aggressive here. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, wow, a uh, uh, nice expensive coat you've got there. Mm. But I saw. I guess I'll just sit here in the shade and like be in a puddle for the rest of my life. They're they're more packed up too, though. They're less solo. I'm gonna I'm gonna strike out a theory that's just from the. I'm sure you guys are sick of being characterized as like wonderful <laughs> Zen people and like liberal and wonderful and nurturing. It's probably there's probably some small part of you that's driving home at night and going like, why don't out of towners just understand that I'm fucked up too? Uh, just because I just because I can hold a city together doesn't mean I'm a fucking I'm 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 I'm, uh, I'm, I'm this highway to heaven for you when you're coming out of town like um, but I'm telling I mean you guys are you guys to the extent that you are Portland I mean you guys are you guys are pretty infuriatingly cool um, and hard to upset and you, you're you're very nice to out of towners and uh, th but there was a guy. Uh, I don't know if I can even, I don't, I have no idea if he was homeless, but he was definitely strange. Um, and he, he was a middle-aged guy and he was holding a skateboard. I immediately wrote this down. The last time I was in Portland, I feel like I had an encounter that I had to immediately write down because like they asked for money. I, I, I would have to scroll back through our backlog to hear that because I told the story. They asked for the, the, the couple of years ago, they asked for money. And, and I think I gave him money, and then they said, like, thank you, we're crackheads. Um, and, then, and, then, and, then some, and then some weird, like, kind of flourish, like, like, like you got to be careful out here. So I, 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 can't, I can't remember what it was, but anyways. <laughs> but I, I remember writing it down and presenting the show. And then again it happened, because this middle-aged guy who's like, had, like, a kind of riffraff from, uh, from, uh, from, from Rocky Horror kind of hair style, and he was holding a skateboard, and he was dressed in, like, like with, like, heavy metal kind of, like, fan, like a heavy metal concert goer kind of clothes, but, like, also f kind of fucked up, like, he's, he's been, he's, he's seen a couple nights under a bridge, but he's holding a skateboard and had the riffraff hair and was, like, my age, and as we passed each other, he st when, we were eight, when I was eight feet from him, he said, do you have a cigarette? So I had four feet to say, no, I don't, sorry. And then as he passed me, even though neither of us slowed down, he said, uh, do you have any Mortal Kombat stuff? <laughs> And I, and, and it's, please, it's, please tell me you, you said yes. <laughs> well, I, I have to stress, though, that it was like I was, then I was four feet, we were eight feet apart. And I, was, and I just, but commenced 30 years of head scratching that'll never, <laughs> this is why I need to believe in God, because I need to believe that these moments will be explained to me. <laughs> uh, that guy, he was, he was, he was, he wanted to, he had, he was, he just got kicked out of his place and he had a bag full of Mortal Kombat, like, stuff and he just wanted to sell you stuff. And I'm like, oh, good. And then God says, like, plus you had eight spiders in your mouth. I Any would, more I, trivia you want to know? Yes, like lots of stuff. Like you could spend 500 years analyzing the 57 years I'm going to be here. I got in the car from my from our hotel or my hotel, which is like you know like a short, like a, a decent walk from here, uh, and I was getting a ride over here, and there was a guy on the road with, carrying a skateboard, and. I think it was a guy, because he looked like me if he had a skateboard. If I, if I was walking down the street with a skateboard and wasn't wearing a suit. My height, my kind of like haircut, like my build, and yet, perfect tits. <laughs> it, it was a guy, that it was clearly a guy. And he had like beautiful bouncing boobs in his shirts. And he was just cruising down the road with a skateboard. I'm like, that's, that's a good town. <laughs> there's, there's a Jeff Davis with delicious double Ds walking down the road. <laughs> That's specific enough that, that that guy's probably listening, I think, and, and knows. So call in. Uh, I want to, speaking of like reaching out to specific fans and like wondering things, I had a, I had a strange, because I, I, I caught myself doing something so odd today. Uh, I, I don't wonder, I know that there's differently abled Harmontown fans. I don't know if there's any here tonight, that, um, but uh, like specifically wheelchair using uh, folk. That's the term, right? <laughs> Nailed it. <sighs> so frightened of everything now. 
and it, it expresses itself so much more bigot sounding. Wheelchair using folk. You're, you're, you're great. You're Ellen Alda. You're nailing it. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I, I passed a, a, a guy in a wheelchair and I caught myself, this is the first time in 42 years I was like, conscious of my behavior because I, I wonder if any differently abled Armenians, like have you ever, ex do you constantly experience something that I would call the wheelchair smile? <laughs> from from non-differently abled people? Like because I, I, I made this weird face, like they say, I, 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 like this very polite kind of like, 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 <laughs> I was like, what did I, and as I'm walking away, I was like, what did I mean by that face? Like, like, nice wheelchair? What did I mean? What does that face mean? And I wonder if, like, the people that are bound. N nice to, folks. Yeah, like, 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 what does that face mean? I bet it makes them feel like living ghosts and makes them very upset. Because, like, what is that, it's not a natural face. Why do you, why can't you just see me as a human being, you fat piece of shit? Uh, it, welcome it, it, to Portland. I'm the only angry person in Portland. Dan, let's say, oh, God forbid, uh, that you like had some accident or some uh, debilitating illness that made For, you... Sooner than it will inevitably happen, yes. <laughs> that, that you were wheelchair bound and you were going down the road or here in a crowd. What, what look would you like to get from other people? Well, obviously, I would like, I mean, it's not a funny answer, but I would like, I would like no look. I would like, uh, yeah, we all remember, well, we don't all remember, you're 22. The, uh... <laughs> There was, uh, this was the 80s definition, I've, I've referenced this before, the 80s definition of political correctness was uh, on different strokes when Arnold uh, was introduced to a kid in a wheelchair. Every sitcom back then had one episode about a kid in a wheelchair, and uh, I think they got money from London or something if they did it. <laughs> so it's the handicap uh, capital of the world. It, it, none of this makes sense. It's four in the afternoon, I'm already drunk. It's, <laughs> get, get, suffer through this. Hey, Avalon, hey, how are you doing, buddy? Let's we'll talk about Avalon in a second. Uh, and, th and then we'll have guests and we'll do a show. Uh, <laughs> Arnold Jackson, that was his name, Gary Coleman's character in Different Strokes, he befriends a kid in a wheelchair and they have like a play date. And, um, and then he, like, I think Arnold like refuses the call to adventure. He's like, I don't want to be friends with a guy in a wheelchair. That's uncomfortable. And then the road to trials is like they share action figures or something and they're like making friends. And then Arnold says like, Come on, I want to show you my goldfish. Let's go upstairs. And he, ran, he runs up the stairs and then stops halfway up the stairs and turns back around and looks at the kid in the wheelchair and says, I, I'm sorry, I forgot you were. And then the kid in the wheelchair, like, like half for the narrative and but mostly for the planet, like goes, Arnold, that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. And the audience applauds instead of laughing, which is how you know it's the 80s when a sitcom could get applause for not being funny. Because um, uh, it's like there were three channels and it was a secretly socialist, like uh, fascist regime. It was like dividing 200 million people three ways. And as I've already pointed out, every year they'd have a battle of the network stars that was like, the Hulk is fighting the bionic woman. They're from different networks. Go fuck yourself. This isn't capitalism. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Take your TV watching elsewhere? Um, so anyways, I, and, and now we don't know what to do. Now we're, now we're like, how do you be a human? And we're trying to learn, because uh, I, I don't think, I don't think that's a, a person in a wheelchair's fantasy is for someone to go halfway upstairs and then say, I forgot you were. That's not their fantasy. That doesn't, that doesn't make their, their, their day. Um, Avalon is this guy in this powder blue sport jacket, which you were wearing when I met you. Um, homeless. Um, <laughs> this is the city for it. When I, 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 just, I just thought it was, I'm not gonna re-deliver this right, but when I met, when I met him, a very friendly guy, huge uh, fan and very nice, and uh, I, I asked his name and he said Avalon. And uh, so, so I have to, so, to demonstrate the timing, because it requires overlap. I'll be Avalon. You ask me my name, I'll tell you Avalon. And then while you're... And then I, I, you, I want to be Avalon. You, <laughs> I can't be Avalon. You can't be Avalon. You have okay. to be me for okay. a second, okay? okay? All right. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you my name's Avalon, and then you, say, you, 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 you hear the name and, 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 and react to it. And I'll, I'll try react to... React as you would have yeah. reacted, or, or as anybody would react. Yeah, but just, re just by repeating the name. Puzzle through okay, it. Okay, gotcha, of, gotcha. Okay. And I'll do what he did. <clears throat> it's very nice to meet you. My name is Avalon. Uh, My mother I thought she was having a stripper. 
That's what he said while I was going, a Avila? Very charming. Sometimes having a pat response to something is like very not charming. You're like, why don't you live in the moment? But your name is Avalon. To have a fucking like calling card like that is very charming. <clears throat> All right, Avalon, that's it. Flush. <laughs> that's it. You're, you're, that's it. So, uh, uh, Avalon, <laughs> is, 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 is there a story to your name or is it just a, a name that your parents thought was groovy? Uh, oh, okay, there you are. So that's how, that, yeah, that's how old we are. It was like Avalon. Yeah, he said, I think my parents like listening to Roxy music and fucking. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know. It's like, yeah, cla oh, God. They, like, like my, Avalon's a cool name. I like the that. The music I still listen to is classic. Um, <laughs> all right, a couple more questions, and then I want to bring up a friend that I met last night. Um, uh, are we doing an hour, an hour and a half, or two hours? Does anyone know? Well, I know you guys. You guys <laughs> it's, not, it's not up to you guys. It's not prices, right? You guys right. don't work here. <laughs> How much do you want your tickets to be worth? <laughs> more, more. Because God knows I'm great in that last half hour. I, that's I'm just when it gets I, really good. I'm just worried the ghost of Steve, a Steve Agee will kill us at one point. He's at, well, you know that's not, Steve Agee's not here. That's the ghost of... Uh... <laughs> oh, no! That's the ghost of Count Bossanova. <laughs> <laughs> he died during a long, uh, oh, long set we, by a bad comic. We're, we're going to bring Steve Agee down because we have a, we have a, we have, I, I have a topic I want to address later on in the show. Okay, maybe we should. Okay, so I, okay, just a couple of random thoughts. Okay, so uh, uh, do, when you guys are walking in Portland, because there's a lot of joggers, does does everyone is this an abused child thing or when you're walking? <laughs> When you're walking on the sidewalk... <laughs> this is Dan's uh, How You Know You're a red Redneck sketch. Uh. If you're only nice to people for the first three months you know them, uh, you the more might be intimate an abused you child. get, <laughs> the more you punish them, your father might have thrown you around like a rag doll. Uh, hilarious. Uh, when you're walking down the sidewalk and you hear a jogger behind you, do you, is your first interpretation of their feet on the pavement and the rhythm of it, do you uh, first, before your consciousness has time to reinterpret it, do you think that they have a baseball bat and they're about to kill you? <laughs> or is that like some mild PTSD that I have? <laughs> Well, I'm walking down the side. I've had so many joggers come up behind me while I'm on my way to another drink, and because uh, it's jogging time, it's 9 a.m., and I'm like, oh, my father's place is open, um, and it was because it's Mother's Day. Uh, and, and it was the most charming thing I've ever seen. No one in L.A. has mothers. The only mothers in L.A. are sitting in a dark living room watching their old movies and smoking themselves to death. And their children moved away. The, uh, but but, but, the, the, but there's, it's nice to be in a city with moms on Mother's Day. Because I walked into my father's place, and it's, like a, it's a dive bar, but it has a restaurant attached. It used to be a truck stop, and the, every booth was filled with clearly, like, I was like, there's a mom, there's a mom. Like, they're a little dressed up, and they went to, they went to a dive bar and had a good breakfast. I hate Portland. <laughs> Fucking rubbing it in our faces. What, what, it's like the, the homeschooled is, kid. It, You're the homeschooled kid of the nation. <laughs> you don't understand how the world works. <laughs> Learn social cues. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I, you're technically nice, but God damn it, at what price? <laughs> Get more dogs. <laughs> Sarcasm. <laughs> I want to come here for my dogs. All right, so, but okay, the jogging bats out. All right, couple, uh, all right, so all right, so so I, I found out anything. Like, like I ran into a couple of stupid people here, and and uh, but they're they're from L.A. They're from L.A. and uh, and and I uh, I came up with a new uh, technique, and uh, it's got, every time I talk to a stupid person, instead of um, so that I don't get mad, I'm gonna think of them as an a really smart animal. <laughs> Like, 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 if they say something, and you're like, why would you say that? Why would you ask me about that? And then and you're like, like, wow, because you're a super smart dog. <laughs> An amazing dolphin. Um, all, right, all right, that's it. That's all I got for my, in my, in my little, like, dumb quasi-stand-up segment. Let's bring Steve Agee out to the crowd, now, shall we? It's Steve Agee! <laughs> 
The Phantom of the Opera is here. Hey, Tori, is, it, is that mine? Oh, you... I was gonna ask Tori for a drink. Oh no! Oh no! Are you? Uh, did you? I didn't see. I turned. I turned one way. Are you okay? Okay. Tori, everybody. She's been. Tori. Steve Agee, everybody. Wait, Steve is this, is this Agee. water? Sure. Uh, okay. All right. I think. I think. I was yes, gonna. Yeah. Okay. Agee, Trace and Dicks. Trace and Dicks. Tra- Trace. It's a nerd poker uh, reference. Oh, okay. How you doing, A.G.? Pretty good. Do you, you enjoy Portland, Oregon? I love it. I've been here a week. Yeah? Yeah. What's your highlight? A lot of dr- uh, uh, marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say drugs, but that sounds like everything, but yeah, marijuana. Sounds like the highlight almost erases itself. Yeah. What's the big highlight? Uh, yeah, white joint. <laughs> a, a white joint? <laughs> <I don't... laughs> like you almost couldn't Racist the... drugs. <laughs> I think we talked about this, or we brought it up recently in a Harmon Town. The idea of the super cool. Remember that? Does anyone ever do that anymore? Where you fucking put PCP in a, in a joint? <laughs> One person, thank you. It's called super cool. A super cool. <laughs> that sounds super cool. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Fran did a super cool outside of Jabberjaw. Did you ever go to that? Yeah. It was a great uh, rock and roll venue in uh, kind of a shitty part of LA on, on like Arlington and Pico. And it's for like Jabberjaw and Bikini Kill and like, like all the like kind of power, like carp and stuff like that, unwound. Really great bands. And you could go there and you could buy a joint from a guy in the corner, but the joint usually had PCP in it. <laughs> and then you'd watch one of your friends have a fucking nervous breakdown in front of you. Ugh. There's always those drugs when the only time you hear about them is when someone's explaining why something fucked up happened <laughs> in like movies and stuff. So you always wonder, like, you, you go like, why would anyone ever do a speedball? It's, I only ever hear about it when someone dies. Yeah. But there I'm, must be like a version of a speedball where you like, nah, it's I, like I, I, really fun. I think, I think you, you, you probably do a speedball twice. The first time worked, the second time didn't yeah, work. It's a, yeah, it's a, yeah. I'm going uh, to Bogota, Colombia to shoot something and someone was telling to me. To shoot they, what, Steve? A speedball. To shoot what? To shoot this vein right there. <laughs> with the purest cocaine, Jeff. But someone was telling me they saw a Vice documentary on like this new drug, and it's specific to Bogota where I'm going, where it's a powder, and they just blow it in your face, and all of a sudden you're fully under their control, and they're like, come on, let's go to the ATM, and you're like, okay, let's go. What, this is Serpent in the Rainbow. You're describing Serpent in the Rainbow. Serving what? Serpent in the rainbow. Yes. Yes, that's what happened to Bill Pullman, except they put him in a coffin instead of an ATM. But this is a thing, and, and you take out all your money, give it to him, and you're just totally agreeable, and then what? you wake up oh, the no. next day, you're like, where's my money? But what if you're with a friend? Can you blow it in your friend's uh, face? and like, Sure. You, you have a great night? or do you, do you, I think do, so. Do you still have to Does anyone him? know about this drug? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. He saw it. It's a flower Flowers grow on there. trees there? Are you sure this is that weird? Because I did a lot of cocaine in my 20s, and very often you'd uh, have stuff given to you and end up walking to an ATM and, uh, do, <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> feeling That's very true. good about some very dirty people. Yeah. Uh, like, this is great. I'm going to, yes, true. I'll tell my parents I need twice as many groceries. Uh... Anyways, uh, so, wait, wait, so did we ever figure out, uh, is it 90 minutes, two hours, an hour? Andy told me you have two hours. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah. good. Because I'm just getting warmed up. I'm right? just getting Andy? warmed yeah, up, Portland. Two hours. They're going to call it Warmland pretty soon because I'm going to, oh, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Dumb. Wait, so if we do a two-hour show, the sun will still be up when we're done. Yep. That's why they like it. They're like, then we're going to go see someone funny. The, then we're all, we're all going to go to Union Jacks and do PCP. Ooh! <laughs> We're all, everyone, come out to the yeah. There's lots of there's some shows like that. Where, so I heard somebody I, somebody, I, I, somebody brought everybody out to a parking lot, many, and there was Darth Vader on a unicycle. I, I would say ten years ago, I went to Union Jacks. I think by myself, and because uh, you know you go to strip clubs alone. And uh, U- Union Jacks, for those of you that do not live in Portland, uh, is one of Portland's shadier uh, strip clubs, and in, in, in a great way. And I think every girl there was a drug dealer because I ended up with all of them back in my hotel room. <laughs> and there was a fucking pharmacopoeia of, of drugs there. Uh, every one of them opened up their purse and had just wild ass, like exotic class A drugs on them. It was really good. So and we're going to uh, Union Jacks after this. Uh, <laughs> we've established that. Um, 
All right, so well, so I want to I, I want to bring a uh, friend that we that we made last night. I I, w I was talking to our friend Jonah Ray, and he had this friend there, and I was talking to him, and like partway into the conversation, I was like, okay, stop, like like you should you should come on Harmontown and talk about this stuff, and 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 I, and I promise it's a safe place because what he was talking about was very very mythical, and I don't want to I don't want to. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm a horrible interviewer, so I don't want to like say at the top like why I thought he'd make an interesting guest, and then he comes out and goes like, "Well, what you said." Uh, let's, so let's explore it together. As so it let's down. explore him together. Uh, uh, and, and, and I mean, he's I, I, he's being he's being really cool com coming here and like uh, like like make him feel safe and and and, and open your mind to his store and your heart to his to, to his humanity. It, it, no one does that in Portland. Bill right? Pullman. <laughs> Tom Hanks, everybody. <laughs> Bill Pullman's the funniest. Gallagher. <laughs> that would have been an amazing introduction of just like a random cameo. <laughs> Pat and Oswald. <laughs> Guys, just open your hearts and your minds. Open your heart to his humanity. Uh, Andy Kindler, everybody. Uh, I want to say, uh, Craig, are you up there? You can, you, you, wanna, you, you, you ready to come down? Craig, right. bring it down here, would Craig, you? Craig, Craig, flip it, come down here. When you, oh shit! I should be. When you have a guest on your show, it makes it good. Do, do, sit, sit anywhere you like. And, uh, Hello, Craig. Sorry, I'm a little. I'm also a little nervous when we go to town, so I'm like less. I'm less entertaining, and I have more guests. And um, so, Craig met you last night at the at the hotel, and uh, uh, and, and then you started talking. He's a like at, like like. There's layers here. There's layers. Sure. First top layer, superficial layer. You're a Bigfoot hunter. Uh. Enthusiast. He's already a Bigfoot enthusiast, a Bigfoot, yeah. Well, so there's, there's, you can't say hunter. You gotta really you know? eat, eat the oh, mic. You gotta eat the mic. Because right, right. there's like guys, there, well, there are, there are guys, we talked a little bit about the Bigfoot hunting community, and there's guys who want to kill Bigfoot, and there's guys who want right. to protect Bigfoot. So, yeah, so they don't say Bigfoot uh, hunters. Some of them do, but that's like the Texas guys. They want to, right. they want, they're shoot to kill, basically. <laughs> 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 Wait, they, they want to shoot first and ask questions later on Bigfoot. There's so many questions. The, yeah, I know. There are a million questions. But, uh, the, 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 it's, it's to protect the species. You right. have to have a body. And well, then, so, so, are so, there, can you divide the, the, the kill Bigfoot people into two people? There are, people who, are there people who want to kill Bigfoot to protect the species and people who want to kill Bigfoot because they hate them? Because the, the old... Yeah, or they have like a polar bear already, you know, and like a, like a rhino. <laughs> how and how would killing a Bigfoot like, protect the species? <laughs> well, you can they, study them. Well, then you say, oh, oh okay. here's the body. They exist. They must be endangered. You know, these, liber <laughs> these, yeah, these <laughs> liberal even assholes. It's endangered. Yeah. yeah. Here's if, the if body. If we just nut up and shoot the fucker, we could get one. <laughs> You know, but these these yeah. these liberal peace nicks who are trying to trap him with a big <laughs> box and a carrot and a stick. We've proven that's why we, we haven't got one yet. Let's get some more. <laughs> um, but so, but more importantly, the, I think the second layer is that you're at a kind of a crossroads. Can I ask how old you are? Is that rude? Or are no, you young? Uh, yeah, I guess you have to remember. It's like I think I'm 38. You think you're 38? Yeah. All right. So I'd you're roughly my, my age, um, and you're a little younger, but uh, not by a significant uh, factor. We're why am I talking somewhere. about that? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> how our ages are different. Um, Forget about Bigfoot. How, what year were yeah, you? How, how many years it are we apart? So, uh, you, so your feelings about the Clintons are a little more cynical. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can hum more bars of "Video Killed the Radio Star." Um, the, the the but 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 you what, what made me kind of stop you and go? I think this is good. Well, no, there were two things. So the second layer is um, you are kind of at this duality place where you're comfortable with the idea that Bigfoot does not exist. Right, yeah. And you were like, uh, do you think it exists or not? And I'm like, I can't give you that answer, sir. I'm which sorry. is, you know, you, it's hard to like, be a Bigfoot hunting agnostic. All right, <laughs> yeah. That's a tough gig. Yeah. Um, because you're probably assailed on all sides by... <laughs> I didn't what touch anything. I did not touch that? anything. That, 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 that does make me think, though, that when we're done with the brief conversation, we should have Spencer come out and, and, and take, take Craig through a role-playing Bigfoot hunt. Oh, wow. Wow. 
where you get, okay. All right. But, but uh, just off the cuff. But, but uh, I mean, that's how my mind works. That's what <laughs> I do. Now, I can show you things, Cra a few techniques. You know? <laughs> Craig, what was, the, uh, what was the origin for you, like your origin story of getting into the Bigfoot uh, mythology? Uh, like, just books in the library when I was a kid. And then, um, and then uh, also, my dad was always supposed to take me on an epic Bigfoot hunting journey. There's the third layer. And, yeah. <laughs> Right. That's when I stopped you and said, you need to come meet my friends. <laughs> because the first layer is he's a Bigfoot hunter. The second layer is he's an agnostic Bigfoot hunter. The third layer is the reason he can do that is because his fucking dad. And I started to weep. And <laughs> like, 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 because this is, what, this is what religion should be. This is like, this is, right. this is folk mythology. It's self-created to create. So anyways. Yeah, you, yeah you're, I felt like I found, I found Jesus. But he's <laughs> Craig, a lot hairier, I, he's hairier yeah. Craig, uh, do, do you believe that, that it's possible that there are such things as Sasquatches? Before? Yeah, I, it's totally possible. I mean, if you look, really like look into it, get down in the, the layers of it. Like, uh, like the, the forests are bigger than we think. Yeah, that was like the first, that was one of the first turning points where when I was out by myself and I'm looking and I'm like, this is so fucking crazy. The first like, thing a cryptozoologist would tell you is, uh, I think, uh, you know, there's seven, I don't know, they'd start saying numbers, like there's 70,000 species that we haven't, to, that we've, right. blah, 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 and we discover 3,000 new ones a day and blah, blah, blah. The giant panda was discovered in like... 32 or something. Yeah, there was like a giant squid that someone discovered. Well, I mean, when, or that you count new the drug ocean, in like... Bogota, Colombia. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, okay, but let's, so let's start at what I think is the core of the onion, and I'm, an onion is a good metaphor because I, you're going to make me cry. Uh, <laughs> let's start with your dad. Your dad was, you said your dad was supposed to take you big Yeah, hunting. okay. All right, well, it's, uh, you, sound, you sound hesitant. Like, right, well, actually, when I was talking to you, and it kind of clicked. I was like, oh, this is the whole fucking reason I'm doing this. It's like a dad thing. Like, well, yeah. What the fuck? That's so dumb. My dad dumb. fucking hit me with like, the wrong end of the belt. Like, uh, <laughs> your dad promised to take you out of... Yeah. Is it, I mean, is it, is it embarrassing you, or are you... I just never really talk about it, but... Uh, is it... I mean, like, take it, take it tiny step by tiny step, and I will protect you the entire way. I think. I'm probably uh, not good at that. Apparently, but. he was, like, one of the best drug dealers in, in uh, Connecticut, where I grew up. Uh -huh. um, so, <laughs> your, your, your father yeah. was? Yeah. What, what qualified him as the best drug dealer? I don't know. That's 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 like what his friend told me. He's like he's like, dude, me and your dad, like, like I don't, I never trusted anyone like him. Like we go to bed in the same hotel room with thousands of dollars and wake up to get. I started to get a weird. It, was, it started to get weird. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> but like, okay, so you you lost your dad at what point? Uh, I was thir 12 or 13. Good, and, good age to yeah. lose a dad. Probably didn't yeah, fuck you up perfect. at all. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah, like, really like, yeah. worked out. Nothing to damage there. Yeah. Um, my, 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 my wife lost her mom when she was like a teenager. It's like, yeah, I, I, and I, I often tease her about it. Um, <laughs> all right. That's great. <laughs> she's, she's like, can I have the remote? And I'm like, no, your mom died. Yeah. Piece of shit. You, you, you barely know what a mom is. <laughs> Give me the, we're, we're watching Naked and Afraid. Give me the. <laughs> the, the funny part is that you're not joking. Erin's Aaron, mad right now and it's not because she's offended, it's because she's like, that's my act. Oh, nice. So she's like, I own that shit. I make people uncomfortable with that. That's what, uh, anyway, so... Uh, he died in a heroin overdose in the Tenderloin. Yeah, so to have a guy say, your dad was the best at drugs. Yeah, like, yeah he did. He won. He won. He won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, but he had said to you, so this sounds a little bit like, uh, I hope my dad... Uh, isn't listening, but I hope if my dad is listening, I want my dad to know that I love him and I don't judge him and I don't mean to vilify him, but like being a kid and raised by somebody who is, uh, who has another relationship with other stuff, whether it's workaholism or, or booze or anything, like, like it's, you, uh, you mythologize it and it's like for a good reason. So like my dad would like, he would, he would get drunk and like he'd get really excited about really specific stuff like we're going tobogganing tomorrow you know and like start fixing up the toboggan and then like he'd go like just a quick nap and then we're gonna go tobogganing and then it was Tuesday and it was like what about the toboggan the toboggan's there there's spider eggs in it and 
Uh, we were building a robot together that has one arm still. Um, so your dad, I, I, was, I was trying to make you feel safer to talk about this. You so brought up more memories. <laughs> your, so your dad, who lost his life in that tragic way, who was obviously str uh, fighting that demon, he had, he had tried to have a relationship with you, and part of that was he told you... Yeah, he's like, well, I'll, I'll, I'm going to fly you out to Bluff Creek, Cal Northern California, with a Patterson film, the famous. Uh -huh. He's like, we're going to go there, we're going we're gonna to find one, blah, blah, blah. But, like, th I mean, that's not as... as and you were how old, like 10? Yeah, like 10. Which is, like, the height. That's right. You're Elliot in E.T. <laughs> your yeah, mind exactly. is a sponge, and it's soaking in, like, like you just, you're just you a goonie. Pretty much. You're on it. Every day is an adventure, and, and, and he's, he's just a guy, and he's saying to You're going to make me cry now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so he's like, we're going to go, we're going to find... Yeah, people. but he never did shit, and then... Uh, he, so my mom was separated, but she had like these fucking scumbag guys like, oh, sorry, this is live. Oh, or yeah. This is gonna get well, no, 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 it's not live, but it also. I'll tell her not to listen. It's not, oh, oh are, are you worried about your mom? We can, we can lift well, something. If you say anything that you yeah. want lifted, we will lift it. Like, like, so speak freely from the heart. If you decide okay. later, because we have to edit it a little bit. Cause sure. So, so we're not live. No. Okay. Okay. Amateur hour over here. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> I, it's, now I'm gonna Woo! cry. Now I'm cry I'm crying. Uh, it's just, just I think I heard something. <laughs> um, so, 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 yeah. So, the, so, uh, a stepdad of sorts says, "Oh, you want to find Bigfoot? I'll be fine, Bigfoot boy." Oh no. Yeah, it started like off wrong right away, right? So. We hop in the, the truck and he takes me out to the woods somewhere. This isn't going to be as bad as it sounds. Okay. Like it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> that was the sound of. That was a, a 250 person bow and arrow oh. pulled tout. <laughs> and you said that and the arrow went. <laughs> we were all ready for anything. Holy shit. Yeah. All right. So, so he just, he takes me in this. You want to meet Bigfoot? I'll show you Bigfoot. Zip. <laughs> yes. He takes me to this field. And, uh, and he's like. He's, he's still like, gonna, it's, it's still going to happen. It's, 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 it's just not as bad as he, as he thinks it's going to be. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, so he's like, oh, d you know, there's tons of Bigfoot here. You just got to go look. You got to go look for the tracks. Like. Like, so I, I'm like all like jazzed up, like running through the field looking and, and like even then I was like, there's no fucking tracks here. Like, and so he I was go, just being like kind of a deadbeat Bigfoot hunter. Like, yeah. like, like, like it's just like a shitty, there's a train a track hunt. and like a, it's a snipe hunt. Like, well, oh, was he hazing you or was he just sort of being lazy? Was he trying to do good, but he was just kind of shitty? He was drinking in the truck. Right. And then. Do you think I, he wanted, do you think he was trying to be a good dad or do you think he was like, like actually being cruel to you? I think he was an alcoholic, like, like really bad. And like, so and, I don't and, know what he was, like yeah, maybe he, he was nice, but yeah. he didn't know. Like, <laughs> like he was, tr but he, yeah, well, I would project onto that because I think I, I think part of my History is like I think I think kids tend to blame themselves and then deify like 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 people who are like kind of like their fuck ups are like oh he was being cool but he didn't he meant well right. so who knows yeah. maybe I don't know I guess maybe I don't know you have to know all about this guy yeah, I don't know maybe he's just like Bigfoot doesn't exist and oh so like, yeah okay. so that's it, when you got it. back in the truck he's like yeah he's that's like, like the equivalent of like teaching you to swim by throwing you out of a boat he's like there's Bigfoot out there go find him yeah. two hours later told you doesn't exist yeah exactly. <laughs> Show me a footprint. Yeah. Fuck you. Let's go home and watch Nova. Right. <laughs> so I, I quit after that. Like, soon after that, I was just, I just kind of like. You felt a little, whatever. whether, regardless of his intention, your experience was you felt a little humiliated and chastened and you it, drew back. I was like, oh, that's stupid to think that that's real. And the, again, this is like something that your dad has said. So, so then, okay. So then a new, what age were you when this got reawakened in you? 27. It's awesome. I mean, that's the age. That's the right age. Like, right. You, I don't know. You said that like, like, like it should be 14. It should be, you know, you're an adult and all of a sudden Pretty much. you're... Uh, Car Carl Jung, 
uh, described like uh, when he started exploring the collective unconscious, he's like, yeah, I need to understand this shit better. So what he focused on was his childhood and he went and played in a sandbox, literally. Like he was just like, I'm gonna, or maybe he, he or he had like little, mo he used to like make little models when he was a kid. He did everything he could remember doing when he was a kid, revisited that stuff. And he said his, his dreams started to become more vivid and active and he was able to analyze them better because he was touching back it makes perfect sense because the human mind has two protocols it's supposed to be adaptable i.e it's supposed to be able to make a world out of anything around it but also it has to be like this spartan vicious nasty calloused machine that protects everything that hurts it then gets turned into a defense system and so you're experiencing this duality which is amazing because you're like you've achieved every person's dream, really, which is like you have a relationship with a thing that doesn't need to exist or not exist, and it's about like, like you know, the only, the first guy you ever met who created you and who made mistakes and... Father. <laughs> uh, I mean, so, so now, I mean, like, I, I, I met your wife up there and I couldn't get a read on her. Like, I don't know if she like, you know... She, she's, she is, uh... <laughs> You're very lovely wife, wife yeah. Brianna. <laughs> like, 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 I have no idea. Like, she, she described at one point, like, you guys fell in love and, like, or you were talking about, like, like, like there was a pro point in your relationship where the courtship was over and you had sealed the deal and then one day you were like, I gotta go for three months. And you're yeah. like, I was like, wow, that's gotta be yeah. every woman's greatest dream. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> is, the, is, the, is the husband at the foot of the bed putting on the camouflage jacket and going, there's a, there's a creature out there. Yeah. <laughs> And she's <laughs> like, now there is? Now? Are you sure this isn't a reaction to yesterday's breakfast? What is going on? But anyway. <laughs> so, so, Craig, like, how much, like, actively, like, are you out in the field, like, actually actively looking for uh, Sasquatch? I just call it camping. You know, like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So passive aggressive. <laughs> so passive that's aggressive. That's great, though. That's 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 perfect. I mean, oh, God damn it, God damn it, Jeff. <laughs> Little camping music. <laughs> like, well, let's okay. Let, can we bring Spencer down at this yeah, point? Yeah, Spencer Crittenden. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> okay, All right. Be, uh, yeah. If that uh, falls, we might need. That's entertainment. <laughs> we maybe not. That looks we like it's gonna to. fall into the audience, Spencer. I mean, you that's know, gonna, that's gonna impale Avalon's eye. <laughs> Avalon seems like a hardy guy. <laughs> he's uh, yeah. He can survive anything. His parents named him Avalon, and he's walking. <laughs> he's walking tall. Um, uh, Spencer, it's always a delight to bring you to Portland where you, you like, suddenly fit in. Like, like. <laughs> People, you know, you keep... And, and Dustin, they share that. Like, like, Dustin yeah. Marshall, everybody. I'm always so excited to see them walk into a bar in Portland when no one looks up because uh, it's like bringing a baby tiger cub to a uh, to a to a, like one of those uh, preserves. I don't. You what know? do you? And it what? jumps out the car window and you're like, oh, okay, go. What do you mean by that though? This is like the second, third time I've heard it. Baby tiger, all this. I don't know. What 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 are you guys like that I'm also like? You just cut the silhouette of a Portlandier. What I wish that? I did. I mean, I'm the silhouette of like all sorts of like an Arkansas man or like any guy that wields some sort of cutting implement. Like I have, there's a, I match a lot of si trucker, I match a lot of silhouettes. Yeah, but it's this, it's this response that makes you fit in here. <laughs> because if I, if I took you to Arkansas, someone might go, I bet he can saw real good. Also, the, Arkansas, I guess I drew also the, the fact that you, that you, you, you walk down Burnside uh, with a blue ox. I think a lot of people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's just bad. I don't know. You have a beard and uh, you're large and uh, zen, looks like a, a little zen. That's not how I view Portlanders. Very I guess. passive aggressive. Well, I guess beards. <laughs> uh, and practical. 
And I don't think Portlanders are practical. No offense, Portland. <laughs> oh my God, there was, this is a, okay, all right. <laughs> How do, I, how do you think they're impractical? I just, I'd say they're the picture of impracticality. All right. Well, let's. Let, I think. I think. I, I think want, they're I, ready to hear it. To let, give it to them. Give it to them. All me. right, Portland. Give me something to make fun of. Oh. Tall no. bikes. What? Tall bikes. Is that a practicality oh, thing? Oh yeah. Tall bikes. Not I mean, practical. that's just that's that's feeding me. You okay. Know, gold. All right. Okay. Yeah. I gotta spin something into it. Donuts. Donuts. Don't don't. They're a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dark underbelly of Portland. Controlled by Big Donut. <laughs> well, I mean, see, donuts, donuts are a very practical food, though, because they, like, you could string them on a rope and you're good to go. All right. I, 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 you're a contrarian. The, the, you, you should take you to the state of contraria. Is that what Portland uh, is? Uh, no. I don't know. You look like a lumberjack. That's it. Well, I guess, see, I don't picture Portland as a lumberjack city. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, they There's could be. There's got to be a lot of lumberjacks. Are you guys lumberjacks? If you can hunt Bigfoot here, anywhere you can hunt Bigfoot, you can shrink the forest. Jack lumber. There's forest to be turned into paper and stuff. All right, well, well, Spencer, all right, this is like, I, I got off on the wrong foot with you. Well, I've, I'm sure I've, you're right. I think I've agitated you. Um, <laughs> I've aggroed you in video game terms. Um, the, uh, but, but I was wondering, I mean, we have to walk a tightrope if we do this, but I really believe we can do this. Like, like, it just came up off the top of my head that Craig's up here, he's a really fucking cool, smart sport, super sensitive, has like bared his soul to a totally supportive group of people. We're in this town hall, we're in this amazing city that sits atop the bosom of the ocean and, and do doesn't reward people for sweatiness and ambition and dishonesty and says like, whoever you are is who you are and the, even the homeless people are comfortable and they have backpacks and maybe they're not homeless, they have dogs and wives. Um, <laughs> How do you get that many tattoos if you're homeless? Like tattoos are like the, it's like that's like having a hot tub. Uh, that's something you get after you get a home. Um, and, but that's me being from California thinking that way. That's ridiculous. I'm like Tim Allen. So, anyways, it's a good place to do it. It's a good experiment. You're young. Craig is awesome. Like Bigfoot mythology fathers. Like like. Could we experiment with doing just a quick like? Like yeah. kind of like a campaign, like a role-playing campaign. Could you find like the like the n nature guide in you to like create a quick campaign where our car breaks down and we go into the woods and something happens that that can can help Craig achieve just weightlessness <laughs> and atone with the cosmos. Father. Spencer, you want to give it a whirl? I don't. Wait, what? Wait. All right, all right. No, you can't. No, no, no. no. I mean, you know I, I, it, wouldn't, I, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work. No, I, I say, wait, wait, just, just, just try it out. C can you do an RPG for us right now where there, it's, 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 it's a Bigfoot world? Where the, the four of us, Dan, Craig, Steve, and I are in a car. The car breaks down. We're, at, we're, at, we're, at, we're, we're, we're just outside of Portland. And, uh, and maybe, 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 there's a, maybe there's a Sasquatch. You're just describing it. We're going to create a simulation where Craig gets to catch Bigfoot. Okay. Spoilers. Well, what, what system should we use? Warhammer. <laughs> Let's do like a pass. A lot, a lot of like, you are in audio. That was the like sound a, of my I, I, eyeballs I, I, on the back of my head. Let, let, let's do like a Pathfinder kind of simple, like a D&D kind of thing. All right. You Pathfinder. ready? Pathfinder. All right, Spencer. The, 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 this is a curveball. Let, let's, uh, let's let it wrap. I'll, let's I'll let try you... it. Let's see if we can uh, come up with an intro. Aren't you glad we smoked all that weed, Spencer? <laughs> well, <laughs> What's the worst that can happen, Steve? For... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Last time on Harmontown. Wait, no. Um... <laughs> you... It's been two hours since the car broke down, and you've yet to see signs of human life on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Glows come from south. You think that you might be able to make it back to town, but the quickest way is through the woods. You're not sure how to proceed, whether you should 
Leave the safety of your car and venture out or stay safe inside. Go. Who's driving? It's a broken down car. Well, who's at, who's at the wheel? Who's at the wheel? It, uh, there's, I can't get any reception out here, dude. I think we have to walk. He's at the wheel? He's, he's kicking ass right now is what he's doing. <laughs> there's like, I'm I, uh, AT&T. I, is anyone else not on AT&T? I got no bars out I'm, here. I'm, yeah, on, I'm on Verizon either. and I got nothing. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I used my, my, my power to, uh, to, to talk to animals and I, and I, and I, and I, and I, 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 I call out chipmunk. Your, your cry echoes out in the woods. You hear the scattering of birds, but no chipmunks. Did you roll that, or are you just fucking trying to shut me down? He's oh. got no he doesn't dice have any dice, but why are you saying you have the power to talk to chipmunks? That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's worth a fucking try. I said, uh, uh, well, no. It's, I mean, I don't want to be critical, but yeah, if I was, it would go Sorry. something like this. I just, I, I, st <laughs> st st Steve just blew some of that Bogota powder in my mouth. <laughs> I don't know. We're trying I, I to do know, something delicate on. and like, 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 like oh, yeah, and you're yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. talked to all the hey, chipmunks, okay. and it's like, do you have dice? Did you roll that? Like, what? Let's you're get like serious. a bull in a china serious. shop here. Um, I, I, this is why I, system I say, is important. I say, even though Dan, I know, I know what you're gonna say because you're you're that adventurer type that wants to walk through the woods rather than get back in the car and stay put, like they tell you to stay put when you get lost. They tell you that? Yeah. So you, you didn't even know that? No. <laughs> You, you're, you're probably going to say, let's just wander towards that glowing part in, in the woods. Yeah. And, 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 and let's, let's roll the dice. Do you know that this, that, that this neighborhood of the woods is supposed to be lousy with Sasquatch? You actually well, believe in Sasquatch? Yes, I do, and I'll tell you Fuck why. Fuck you, we're I'll going through you, the woods. Fuck you, Steve. <laughs> Fuck you, Steve. Well, wait a minute. All right, this guy we're traveling with, Craig. Yeah, you guys didn't know this about me up until now, but uh, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> we were we were just we were just out cabinet shopping with you because you also are into woodwork. I love uh, polishing steel to yeah. a mirror finish. The best wood. And that's what you want to call it, Craig. Reflection of my tools. <laughs> and so, like, what, what? Yeah, what do you think? Is this Bigfoot country? Definitely squatchy, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Squatchy. That's that guy. Uh, that guy tried to tr initiate a standing O that I approve of. Squatchy. <laughs> All squatchy. right, well, but, but, but... This forest is squatchy as shit, man. <laughs> Look, guys, I'm a pragmatist. We'll freeze to death tonight. There's glowing in that direction. In our wildest dreams, we'd stumble upon a, a, a I'm creature. I'm with Dan. Yep. Like the, 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 oh, it's Bigfoot. The, they travel... Guys... They, they travel like lights through the forest sometimes. What? Yeah. That sounds like new age. Well, it's one faction. I yeah. use my low light vision to look through the forest. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow us. <laughs> Why would we be excited to find Bigfoot if you were an elf? <laughs> like, you're a guy. You're just, you're you. You're I'm a guy. I'm just trying to have fun, Dan. Oh. We just, we're out in the woods. I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation. Okay, so, look. He doesn't have low light vision. <laughs> we're human beings. It, it's 2015. We're broken down in a car. It's freezing. We're going to die if we stay here. Chipmunk! <laughs> I'm getting out of the car, and I'm gonna at least walk towards the glow until I get bars on my phone. <laughs> Craig, I'd appreciate it if you came with because you seem rugged. Yeah, bro. I got a, a map pocket on this jacket, so yeah. A map pocket? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Like a... I put my cell phone in it. <laughs> All right. It's in the back. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, but no map? I just a cell phone. Yeah, they're, okay. they're better. All right. Download apps. Uh, all right. Well, uh, uh, where's the glow? Which direction? To the south. To the south. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's head south. I don't believe in Bigfoot, but 
if we do run into one, he's the guy to have with I'll us. I'll deal so with it, guys. So let's just go. Okay, we need so to kill one we, we, uh, to, to we, save them on this. <laughs> if oh, we do one find guys. one, I'm okay with killing it. Yeah. I think there's enough of us that we, we can, can all, do so it. We're all agreed right now. If we see a Bigfoot, kill kill first, it just right. Right, right off the bat. Yeah, we're all coincidentally, even though we we're now first being asked what kind of Bigfoot enthusiast we are, we're all in the Ted Nugent camp. <laughs> <laughs> just by coincidence, <laughs> we're gonna eat it too. Right. So, we so, uh, about it, but... Spencer, we are, we we move south. As you're trudging south, <laughs> the glow gets brighter. Behind you, you can hear rustling of leaves, and you check you check behind you, but you see nothing. Chipmunks. <laughs> There's your, no chipmunks around here. I called out earlier. Nothing happened. <laughs> it's your phone chirps. Chip. One of you might have reception. I look at my phone. Still no bars. Not me. Not me. <laughs> it's not a. <laughs> not me, man. Oh shit. Uh. <laughs> oh. It's an old. I'm sorry. It's an old push notification from Instagram. Okay. Sorry. Well, Craig and I got our phones mixed up because mine was in his map pocket. You should look at your phone again. Oh. Yeah, I got him. Is that what I was What does he got? What does he got? It sounds like reception. Oh, yeah? You get reception? Yeah, yeah, check it out. <laughs> uh, all right, cool. Well, let's it's a we text should... message from your grandpa. Oh. It is. <laughs> it, it, says, it says... What does it say? I can't quite read it. Can you... <laughs> It says, I use my low light vision to read his text message. <laughs> damn it, God damn it. So close, so close to intimacy. It says, hey kiddo, remember, that knife you have, I took it from you. You don't have it anymore. <laughs> I'll see you at home. All right. Typical grandpa. Just... That was fucked up. All right. Um... Well, let's I break a, a branch off of a, a tree, and, and as we walk, I sharpen it with a stone, just in case. <laughs> uh, I, I pull out my emerald dagger. <laughs> <laughs> as you near the glow, you can hear. You can we hear. were in a car. Why would you... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I never go into a forest without bringing my emerald dagger, Dan, and you know that. <laughs> As you near the glow, you can hear, you can hear the crunching of uh, something crunchy, as well as low rumbling growls that sound like some sort of animal. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Is it com it's coming from where we're walking to? It's coming from the source of the glow. Or that direction, at okay. any rate. What do you do? Are you supposed to scare them? Or? Well, first you gotta assess the sitch. You gotta say, is this a quadruped sitch? or a biped coming towards me? Okay. So you're in charge now. All right, guys. I think I, think I heard two footsteps, but it could have been four. I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> like, I don't... Uh, well, are we supposed to, uh, you, are we supposed to, like, is the idea with Bigfoot, like, let's say if a bear attacks you, you're supposed to play dead? What do you do with I, I wish a Bigfoot would attack me. I just... Oh. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're with that guy. Uh, uh, uh well, uh, well, okay. uh, uh, guys, let's, let's, uh, why don't we, like, form a perimeter, like, like, like let's try to surround yeah. it a little bit. And I, get, I, I, I go, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> How close are we to the glowing? How close? Uh, you can't see the source of it. It's just, it seems if like If I it's... climb a tree, will I be able to get a good look at it? Uh, perhaps. It's I definitely... climb a tree. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. You, you Agey? In the complete darkness. <laughs> Dudes, I haven't done this since I was 10. This is awesome. <laughs> it's amazing. You're... Holy you, shit. You're as fucking age as nimble as a mountain goat. You see <laughs> Oh my God, he's way up there. Uh, I, I, I see something. Yeah, you see the glow, the source of the glow, rather. It seems like it used to be a campfire, some sort of fiery camp. It's been... <laughs> sk 
scattered, scattered and destroyed, and all you can see is the glowing embers as well as shadows lurking around the source of the fire. Let's keep going towards the fire, guys. <laughs> you guys go to the fire. <laughs> it's a fire? There's, there's a camp. Uh, there's, uh, the dying embers of a campfire over there. What I, Jeff I said. And, I, I go up and examine. I, I look for, uh, for, for tracks. Uh, where? Like uh, around the campfire. Okay. Well, you got to get to the campfire first. I, I, I run headlong and... and, and uh... <laughs> you run headlong to where the source of the glowing is. You see, you see footprints all around. I examine them. What do they look like? Big footprints. <laughs> I, I reach into my knapsack and I pour an alginate cast into it to make a, a, a track, to, to, to make a footprint uh, cast of it. Not before Dan, I do. Dan, 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 you know I bring an emerald dagger and, and alginate wherever I fucking go. Uh, okay, well, I assume it after a while, because we didn't charge headlong, we get there too. Yeah, we show up. So that we, also happens. We find him pouring a cast. <laughs> What are, you do what are you doing? Craig, what the fuck are these? I I'm preserving what appears to be Sasquatchy and uh, th th this campfire is squatchy, man. <laughs> Craig, Craig, what do you think? Dude, did you just dump that plaster in without splatter, using the splatter technique first? Oh shit, is that a thing? <laughs> fuck, Jeff. You, you, you fucked up? I don't up. know the protocol. Explain, Craig, explain. You just, I can't believe you didn't know this. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> When you find the print, first you just splatter a little bit all over the place, just splatter. So there's no air pockets, right? Just to get the nice coat there, because when you dump it in, it, it distorts the evidence. Oh, oh, because of the weight of the ah. alginate. Okay. Well, fortunately, I Luckily, there's more footprints. I, there's, there's loads of footprints. And I there's have only one at a time. <laughs> uh, oh, that's why they don't call him Big Feet. That makes sense. Yeah. He only ever leaves one print. All right, well, he's doing that. There's a, is it an actual burning campfire? Because that's a bigger deal than any footprint. Yeah. Uh, that, like someone made a fire. Yeah, you see, it's not a proper fire, but there's definitely burnt and burning and burned logs and wooden pieces that were arranged together. They've been sent scattered as if someone tried to drop kick or quickly put out the fire in haste to make a hasty retreat. But we saw the glow. That means we're upon... Entities that we, knew we were coming. We, we, this is squatchy. That, 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 there's a there's a Bigfoot tr uh, track here. We caught Bigfoot. Uh, I, I I examine the ground for any like spore or, or hair or any kind of like of, like foreign. Material. Amateur, amateur, amateur. <laughs> uh, spore, spore. Well, Craig, what would what would what would you do? This is where we're gonna live for a while, <laughs> guys. Um. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were hiding into civilization. <laughs> all right, What's this no, guy I, talking about? Um, wow, all right. I, 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 I cast magic sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> so then, okay, let's live here. And, and then, uh, uh, we'll a magical sleeping bag pops into existence. <laughs> Can we advance time and we've lived there a while? Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> How, how long we, do you want to have We've all got beards, times? and we have our own alphabet. <laughs> like, like we're... I, I've also uh, carved a rocking chair out of a sequoia. <laughs> <laughs> all right, those things happen. Steve and I are married. <laughs> we have an agreement that when we get back, <laughs> yeah. we won't talk about it, but... We, we, we're, we're doing married. what we have to do to survive yeah. inside. We're mountain married. Uh, and, and I proved Bigfoot <laughs> exists to four people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so we're there. All right, it's, this is the key morning. We wake up. You're, you're, you're waked up. There's a campfire. It's burning. You've been maintaining it for however long you've been there. All right. You hear, you hear footsteps approaching from the north. Here it is. It's coming, guys. It better be fucking firewood, man. We clear cut it all this shit. <laughs> I know this place is like a parking lot now. <laughs> I, uh, a couple more trees, and we have to start a rock concert. I, 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 I just, out of idle curiosity, go towards the sound of the footsteps. You go towards the sound of the footsteps, and you see an old barefooted man holding a rifle. 
<laughs> it's only a game, sir. It's only a game. Um, does he look like a, he's a human being? He's a, he's a regular. Oh, guy. he's a, the humanest of beings. I, I look at his feet, so I know it's not one of those old gags. What? Um, <laughs> he doesn't have giant feet, right? No. Okay. No. Just holding so, a rifle. All right. Ted Nugent? <laughs> <laughs> old man, take a look at our lives. What's that? <laughs> We're a lot like that's, you. That's Neil Young. That's Neil Young. We're just here looking. Where we, we, we originally we were trying to find a gas station, but we are now looking for Bigfoot. <laughs> What's your name, old man? Skater. Y'all look like some big feats. No. No. I mean, no. We're good what people. Do? We're prove it. I drop my pants and I don't know. I mean, I. We're wearing clothes for. I long. throw. I throw my emerald dagger at his heart. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, okay. You know what? I stop and I go meta for a second. I guess my goal was to like meet Bigfoot and and have Craig like start crying as he touched Bigfoot's face. But you know what? What business is that of mine? Why am I trying to turn his passion and his religion into my sideshow bullshit? Why are you playing God? Yeah, Honey. I think it's fantastic that he that <laughs> Honey, he, why are you playing God? Yeah. <laughs> That he came up here and shared his, I think the most amazing thing is like, like that this thing keeps going and going and going. Are you going to continue to go out there? and? This, uh, this is the 10 year anniversary of when I took a moped trip 3,000 miles through the Pacific Northwest. Did you say moped? Yeah, a moped. Uh, right, right now is a 10 year anniversary of the last time I heard someone say moped. Yeah. <laughs> Your goal, you're kind of like tempting fate. Like you want to get lost. You want the... You... Yeah, I had the shittiest maps. The maps blew off my little basket I made. Yeah. And just, I'm like, oh, don't know where that... <laughs> how to get anywhere now. Uh, this is after that morning with Brianna where you're like, I got to go find a monster. And then 30 miles out, you're like, whoops. Right, yeah. Uh, no, uh, you love her very much, I'm sure. The... Uh, yeah, but you, so so it's the ten year anniversary. Like you you you, but you're and you're still plunging in year. After I'm thinking year, I'm or? gonna go on another trip, but slightly s shorter. <laughs> Since we, uh, we have a kid, like five, six just weeks, to atone, five, six maybe weeks? take the kid into the woods and like look at the denseness of the and go like this is where anything can happen. This is where this is the cosmos. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna tell them like uh, you know, Pigfoot does or doesn't exist, but like. I don't want to live in a world where I have to say, Bigfoot doesn't exist. Yeah, or that he does. It's like, yeah, yeah. the human mind is capable of anything. That's amazing. Like, you, you, you have the opportunity now to go do what your stepdad uh, did wrong. Failed. It's, you it's, failed, it's, father. Yeah, it's, 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 it's to go out there and, and give your son an adventure uh, and let it be exactly what it, what it, whatever it wants what, to be. Uh, yeah, what it should, be, should have been in the first place. That's so beautiful, man. Oh, All right, man. that's beautiful. If you see Craig out there, buy him a drink and, uh, and don't get invaded. And uh, uh, but 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 I got the right. I, I got a good crotch gusset. You got so, what? What? In my pants. What? You're pointing, you, what's it, what? I what? I his crotch got wet from the oh, yeah. condensation on his cup. Oh, Condon okay. I thought, condensation, I, 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 bro. So if you see him out there, he didn't wet his pants. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was saying buy him a drink. And I thought he was going like I can't, and then it was like pee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't. They can't buy me a drink. They can't. When you're big you in the woods, you can't. You, there's no. <laughs> Time to go take a leak. Just... All right, well, let's have a hand for Craig. Give him a warm hug out there. And... That's... that's Portland, and that's, uh, that's humanity. That's... I just broke my teeth on the microphone. Uh, that's, that's uh, I don't know. I like, well, I don't know. Somehow, that, somehow that there's some intersection there. The Northwest mentality, hu the human species, the idea that you bring with you, like you this giant brain that can create anything. It takes all the weird shit that goes into it, a bunch of pain and a bunch of pleasure, and it spits out like, like anything. And like those things can be passed on to people, and they can hurt those people, or they can heal them. Like uh, we don't give ourselves enough credit as a species because what are giraffes doing right now? They are not having a podcast. They're pieces of shit with long necks. <laughs> I'm not saying they should be extinct, but they haven't earned shit. They're fucking horses that were like, I want to eat that apple. <laughs> They're garbage animals. 
They've had longer time on this planet, and they did not create Wi-Fi. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if it were up to them, they're, 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 right now they'd be like, could we make a neck that could get to the moon? <laughs> that would be their solution. They'd be like, maybe we can eat the moon. Uh, be like, no, the Earth is a fucking burnt crisp because they don't last long well on these planets. Like, uh, you gotta, you know, we're assholes. We're horrible. Hor we're a horrible animal. We're a hyper intelligent chimpanzee that decided that we would take all this power and fuck things up, but we're also maybe gonna get some of those giraffes into outer space. <laughs> and they will thank us later when we give them the power to speak. We'll be like, ladies and gentlemen, it's 2078 AD, we're orbiting on Zoo One, and uh, the first giraffe is about to speak. What do you have to say, Jeffrey? Uh, 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 thank you. You're welcome, motherfucker. You're welcome. You're coming down awfully hard on giraffes right now, Dan. I hate giraffes. I think, they're, I, I think they represent everything that humans don't because it's all adaptation and no risk. I, I think having an enormous neck is a huge risk. No, it's not. It's not at all. You're it's all, the opposite you're of a risk. all jugular vein. No, I'm telling you, there's a principle in evolution that's so like... so stabbable. If there's a biologist in the audience... There's, there's two principles of evolution. One is becoming hyper-compatible with your environment. So the extreme example of that is the hummingbird because it has like this beak that's really designed for a certain flower. If that flower goes extinct, the hummingbird is fucked. On the other end of that spectrum, we have the things that we admire, which is adaptability. Like we have a weird robot claw that like is designed to grab random shit. So you can drop us on the North Pole, you can drop us anywhere, and no matter where you drop us, we'll live long enough to fuck it up. <laughs> uh, where, but, but for a long time, following that strategy made us the food of wolves and cats, like, like you know, these like biological killing machines. And they were like, where do you think you're going with this garbage? You're walking upright, you look like idiots, I'm gonna eat you. And and, and, and your babies are pudding. Your babies are made of pudding. And one in two of them die, and they cry when they need to be picked up, like, so, which is a dinner bell. Um, <laughs> You are, you are doing everything wrong, and that, that, but, but it's like, it's a gamble, it's a gamble. And now every primate is dying off, not just because of us, but it's like, we're, we did it. We fucking took this planet. We fucking took it. <laughs> we, were not, we were not supposed to. I, I like the idea of... Bees of, were supposed to. I, I, I've, Fuck bees. <laughs> Fuck them. What? What's wrong with bees? I'm not mad at bees. I forget I'm in Portland. I, uh... <laughs> I like the idea of taking a child out and going to do something as arbitrary and mythological and probably nonsensical as like, let's go, let's go find a Bigfoot. That makes much more sense than going fishing. Like You're going to eat like, that mic, bro. Uh huh? You're going to eat that mic. They can hear me. I don't know. I don't. Well, oh. don't don't get. I'm sorry. I wasn't attacking you. That's all right. Uh, I was just worried that they couldn't hear you. I don't know. All right. Yeah. I, I. I. Like. You go fishing. Like you're just casting a, a hook into the water, which is a subconscious, which is like a, like a, the unseen. And you sit there. And the whole point of going fishing is to sit there and waste time and, and just and connect with somebody else that you're with. I think it's just as just as likely to have fun and be more important to go out there and go monster hunting. I think that's very cool. I like that a lot. It's not like yeah, it's not like we don't find monsters every day. Like, like it's like like there are there are so many species. Even on the even even tonight, the, you might find a monster. Uh, uh, we, let's 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 bring the, uh, the my, my 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 eternal muse, the other half of my existence. The, Jonah the Ray, reason. everybody. Jonah <laughs> Ray is here. <laughs> Uh, my beautiful wife, uh, oh, the, the son of my solar system, Aaron McGathy. Aaron McGathy! <laughs> Aaron McGathy wearing yeah. what, uh, what? Uh, my, my Quaker Anne of Green Gables couture. <laughs> I bought this in Portland. Everything I'm wearing is by a Portland uh, person. I love it. It's it worth eight thousand uh, dollars. It, it's what the discriminating Flemish uh, lady is wearing this <laughs> three hundred years ago. When we when we burn you at the stake, we're gonna know why. Because <laughs> you're hot. Not not a pun on fire. But it's like because okay. you're sexy and sexy women are the victims of misogyny. No, no, no. Break, break it down. <laughs> Sexy women must burn! Yeah. Uh, Unless they take over. I loved, I loved Squatch Finder. It was great. Um, Couple notes. 
Uh, I would. Uh, <laughs> um, happy Mother's Day, everybody. I, um, I would have sent my mother flowers, but uh, there's this groundskeeper at the cemetery that steals them, so. I told you. <laughs> That's been our show. Good night, everybody. <laughs> she's, a, she's like the Mad Max of dead mom jokes. Like, you, <laughs> when you find a can of dog food, you know how to, like, like, you eat most of it, and then the dog gets to lick the can, and you're like, don't fucking take my dead mom jokes. <laughs> well, it's that, and then also, like, when you tease me about it sometimes, sometimes it, it does actually make me feel bad about my mom being dead. Oh, cool. Um, cool. <laughs> That's a relief. Cause sometimes. I thought, sometimes. Sometimes. Other thought, times. Yeah, I'm like, this I, is the best. No, it's great. I like... <laughs> Did you, did I like you, I like joking about did it. Did you wish that your mom would ever have taken you do, to do something as interesting and specific as Sasquatch hunting? Yeah, yeah. She took me to Michael's a few times. Um, did you buy some yarn, or what did you get? Some needlepoint? Uh, my mom used to make uh, rice dolls, which were her own invention, I think, which were like bags. That she would buy fabric and fill it with raw rice and then put a wooden head on top, and they would be female heroines from literature, and uh, they were pretty sad. <laughs> um, no, I thought, I thought they were great. My mom was a very creative person. So, uh, this is, now, now I feel I feel like her, I'm gonna see like her head floating, uh, like Superman's so you father. Made, like, you made like little rice Anna Kareninas, or uh, like, like? Well, there was Anna Green Gables. Uh, there was uh, uh, Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice. Um, Anna Karen and I, I think, is, is to, all, I think all the characters she wanted to explain to me, like, what happened in the end and not, like, have it be weird. You should start making those again and sell them as, like, iPhone, waterlogged iPhone savers, where you, like, <laughs> you put ah. them in the women's mouths yeah. into the rice. <laughs> What do you think of your, I mean, I don't know if this is like a huge like precipice to fall off of, but I'm just curious when you make a joke about your mom's floating head being hair, like, do you, <laughs> do you think about your, your, your mom and imagine what she would say if she was watching you and like, like, mm. like what, do you have thoughts about that stuff? Like, like, oh, if my mom were here right now. Yeah, I mostly imagine her glare. I mean, there's no, I wish I, <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Um, do you dream sometimes. about her? Like, does she ever come to you in I dreams? do, I do. This is very sad. I, I dream about her very frequently, and the dream is always, like, us hanging out and me saying, I thought you were dead. And her saying, oh, no, 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 no. Um, okay. No, I'm totally alive, and, and everything's fine, and, like, let's hang out, and now you're a, an adult. And I'm like, this is the best, and I'm go I, I don't care that I thought you were dead for so long. And then I wake up, and... At the end the of those phone. dreams, do you go to bed because you might be like that guy in that short-lived uh, conceptual cop show, Awake, what's it called? Like, like you might be living two lives that are both equally real. Like, maybe your mom is alive, and then <laughs> you're going to sleep, and then this is the dream. I should search for my mom with Craig in the forest. <laughs> Chipmunk! <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of Jeff's behavior in that game? I, you know, I, I, uh... I was trying to have fun. I was trying to... <laughs> I, actually, I, I mean, I, 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 I was trying I enjoyed, to help us find Bigfoot. I enjoyed the banter, but I guess I was on Jeff's side. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I just wait, felt wait, like wait, he wait, brought wait. too much supernatural power to uh, search for Bigfoot. It just kind of undercut we, the... We, we, we agree that we were playing a Pathfinder version of that wow. game. I, yeah, I, I mean, thought they all no have special skills and, like, and, like, and abilities. All right. Can I, I approach I, it wrong? I mean, huh? I don't, I don't want to give anyone notes, but Dan, why'd you scare away the big feet? Like, they're, you're coming towards them, and then yeah, you man. heard something, and then you were like, get out of here, get out of here, and then they all ran yeah, away. That, that was I was really trying to summon move. magical because, creatures because to someone, find the big someone feet. said, let's make a perimeter, and, you're, and then you just negated that and said, let's get out of here, get out of here. Well, okay. I'm you didn't want to find, you didn't you wanna find Bigfoot. What's but, wrong uh, with you? What no. have I Who done? The show? Yeah. I'm the bad guy. In my mind, what I was doing was I was like. We just care about you. I was forcing a and hand. And you shut us down. <laughs> Why don't you gobble your milk? I didn't. Kettle. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't perceive what I was doing in that moment as being counterproductive. I perceived it as the opposite. But okay. I, was, I was getting a little tipsy at that point. And I was getting like. I was That's what Mussolini said. I was actually. You, know, you want to know the truth? Here's a high road for you. I was worried about you. I was thinking about you up there. And you're like, what the fuck is this Bigfoot thing taking forever? I Motherfucker, like, we were married. Yeah. You'll be thinking about her. 
she doesn't know about that. It doesn't, from her perspective, it's like we were in space traveling at the speed of light. So, so you, you didn't like that I was, I was breaking the reality of, us, of uh, uh, us out in the woods being actual people? I just, if you have an emerald dagger and low light vision and you meet a Bigfoot, wouldn't you just be like, who cares? I think if you have so many rules for it. I know, that's for what, a that last minute problem. game, you should That was my problem. That was my problem. Thank you for defending me, Aaron. I appreciate that. You're welcome. First and last. Time. I made a huge mistake. <laughs> I... I always, I do this on community too. Everything that I plan, every time I get an idea and I'm like, we should do that, that's when the trouble starts. Everything that I'm like, oh, fuck it, I don't know, uh, just this, that's what makes people happy. How did and you it, see that ending in your head when we started? I, I'll tell you the truth. You asked an honest question, it deserves yeah. an honest answer, and I'm gonna embarrass myself. And I'm the one that needs help, I'm fucked up. Please appreciate my candor, You're reward good. it, don't judge me. <laughs> I, I truly thought in my head there was some moment where we came to a clearing and Bigfoot was there and Spencer in all of his, I'm gonna say Aspergery, it's an overused phrase, like Spencer's detachment, which I share with him, like his compartmentalization, like it would all add up to like this crazy thing. So it'd be like this celebration of how we're all fucked up and like nerdy and detached, but like it would all combine in this network to create like this nerdy role playing thing where this guy who was really smart and sensitive was like actually like fucking like touched Bigfoot and that we would all burst into 3000 tears. <laughs> I. That, and, and that was my mistake. It's like, why would I, why would I decide that's the future and then t try to make a beeline for that yeah. instead of just embracing the moment? I, I didn't meet that guy by planning to meet him. I met him organically. Well, wh why, and I'm not being glib, like why, why then the instinct to scare Bigfoot off? Of whether it... I, want, I, was, I thought it was taking too long, so I thought maybe I, that would make Bigfoot come out. If I said, if I said get out of here, get out of here, I thought Spencer would go, Lumbering down the trees is a, is a thing, because Spencer's kind of a contrarian, so I thought if I said, get out of here, I thought I could trick Spencer into punishing me <laughs> by having a Bigfoot not get out of there. That is some fucking... Because Spencer would be like, don't tell me what to do. Well, that, that yeah. is Bigfoot, some... Bigfoot's come from everywhere, because you said, get out of here. I thought I could the manipulate trees him. turned into Bigfoot. I just, you know, I think the role-playing session went over really well. I don't think you should uh, get down on yourself. I don't think you it. should fish for that. I don't think they're falling for it because they're from Portland. Oh, I wasn't. Yeah, I don't care what they think. They, 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 they live in a world where somebody sets up a donut shop and is like, I think these donuts are all right. I don't know. Which, which uh, how many of you out there were disappointed when, fall I summoned, for it again. when I summoned Chipmunk? The Chipmunk did not appear. We all wanted that, right? Because you can't, okay, all right, in but we're talking head, in I circles, but I just think I just if, you're, if you're on a Bigfoot hunt, the scale comes down to Bigfoot has to be the most amazing thing you've ever encountered. So, like, if you watched, uh, if you watched Chip, Contact with Jodie Foster and there were, like, aliens working with her, <laughs> hey, hey, Nim Num, do you have a reading on the Foxtrot 7? <laughs> Meep, mop, moop, up, moop, mop, moop. Okay, let's keep trying to make contact. He's a fucking, she's talking to a worm creature. I'm, I'm a writer. <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of like being a bounty hunter. Like I'm not officially allowed to have more respect, but I should have it. This guy put myself out there a lot. I've been through some shit. I'm like Dog the Bounty Hunter. I enjoyed it. I, I would, I would like to actually do more. I, I feel like for the first, we only played for what 10 or 15 minutes of that, right? Like I think that was a good first 10, 15 minutes. I would like to play more of that, uh, like us meeting Bigfoot role playing game would be very. Could I fun. be the chipmunk? <laughs> yes, Aaron, thank you. <laughs> uh, in the marriage of Steve Agee and Dan Harmon, uh, let's say it continued, what would a lazy Saturday be like for you guys? Oh, it, w it wouldn't be lazy first, though. Puttering. Puttering around our little yard. What time do you wake up? Do you guys eat together? Like, what does that look like? It was a weekend? Yes, yeah, so it's a Saturday. We'd lay in bed, just our bed of pine needles. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I feel like it would work. I feel like it would work really well. Because I feel like, 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 AG Two and I are both lazy like, motherfuckers. Just... <laughs> wait, wait. Because I feel like you... I'm really mean to you and unfairly because you're too symbolic. Like, you're, because you're, because you're my wife. So now, like, there's all these tickets you didn't buy. So, like, I'm like mean to you for, for artificial dishonest reasons. Like, where, whereas, like, so if I was in a, if I was in a, a weird relationship, not, oh God, I just called gay people weird. <laughs> If I was in a, if I was in a, um, an awesome relationship, like, 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 one that was unexpected to me, uh, with, with, with Steve, it would it would make it would force me to stop playing recordings of my dad when I talk to my partner, and I think like I, when I'm mean to you, I'm I'm not it's not me as I'm. I, I, I mean, I ship it. Okay, good. Uh, well, let's do it. 
I mean, what no, is I should just, you just think of you as Steve yes, Agee. Yes, That's yes, the thing. Yes, yes, I could do it. Hey, uh, I, I, I'll show up everywhere first. Uh, and, uh, I'm always saying when we have fights, like I, I think this is how everybody probably has frustrations because like the person that you're with, there was that whole high fidelity monologue, like where it's like the people that we love, that we take the closest to us, they are treated to these really unfair metrics. Uh, you watch a stranger walk down the street, and you have it, you know, her ratty panties aren't hanging from the shower curtain. That was well, that monologue. I, and I don't have. No, you don't. I'm not saying it. Don't get distracted. Don't get distracted by that. I'm saying that, that's a metaphor for the fact that like we, the people that we're with every day, like we're being so unfair to them, but they're the people that we trust. So it's like, and it has to do with self-loathing because we like the way we look through strangers' eyes because we hate ourselves. So it's like we're actually being more dishonest when we first meet somebody, and then we, and then we slowly gain intimacy, which should be a gateway to like unprecedented levels of honesty. And instead, sometimes there's a little clamp that comes down, and you, and you go like, well, this person knows me now, and I'm kind of ashamed of myself, and you start to like play out these like operas that you saw your parents play out. I'm not blaming anything uh, like like you we should all work towards it but that's what happens is like I'm ashamed of myself when I fight with you because I hear myself saying things that I don't actually feel I just have a relationship and then the relationship is making me go like like well I should I, I should be mean right now I, I, I it's well, I, can I, we can we can we try something because I have a new tactic okay okay we're gonna do a little role play um, we're at a at a at a frozen yogurt Place. You're at a frozen yogurt place. <laughs> this one you're into. You scared the It's like Sasquatches. pulling fucking teeth to get us in the woods and meet Bigfoot. It's you up your alley. Him away. I'm just a world simulator, Dan. I don't have so just, thoughts. Just, just try to just try to react as, as Okay. Like, we're like at a yogurt react. shop. We're, we're at, at a yogurt, yogurt shop. shop. Okay. We're sitting down, we're eating yogurt. Can I get another? Oh, God, she's the best. Has anyone given her a medal? That's Tori. And then our, uh, I like that it's scaled down so I won't notice. It's a slightly smaller cup. Can I get a whiskey, please, on the rocks? Uh, whis what do you want? Whiskey? A whiskey, please? Just a <laughs> nice try, Uncle Bob. Uh, one for my lawyer over here. That's Tori. I'll, I'll, I'll forget to thank him later. That's Tori and then Mandy. Was Tori, two other, whiskeys uh, in the rocks, please, if you don't mind. Thank Hi. you, Mandy, and thank you, uh, thank your, you, the people over there that are giving you drinks and dealing with this giant like a chilled Casadores. A chilled Casadores. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So uh, we're, at, we're at a yogurt shop. All right. And just react as honestly. Just re re react how you would react reading our yogurt. Are, are, um, are we all here or just you two? It's just us. Okay. You guys are waiting in the car. I have, <laughs> I have an emerald dagger. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeff, you... <laughs> Jeff... I love that that culminated uh, in a high five. Uh, Jeff... Jeff sucks dick like one of those water birds. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> uh, but he's so good at it, that's how it works. Like, the comb keeps him bobbing. It was just like, come, come. Yeah, come. he oh, makes okay. you come that fast, like, yeah. that consistently, so. S Steve, do you feel guilty about cheating on Dan? <laughs> well, no, he's cheating on me. He's I in a yogurt shop with this chick. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Dan, I think you're uh, you're you're a little rude to me in front of the uh, the yogurt lady. I didn't I didn't like that. I well I why are you trying to make me apologize? I'm not trying to make you apologize. So let's let's go five minutes. Okay. Okay. So now I'm like like fuck you. Yeah, hysterical. Get a job. You you you're you're three episodes behind on Community and it pays your rent. <laughs> Fuck you. You should feel bad about things, not just me. Get, get even angrier. <laughs> or like, like or you don't have to use it. Say well, one, just are like we, a, at this point, is usually when we've split up and I'm just texting you horrible Kevin Spacey, like fucking, like, <laughs> fuck off, okay. fuck you. Well, the, uh, the, uh, similar, the, this isn't, uh, okay. All right, so my reaction, my planned reaction is what I'm going to do, like, if you're looking in my face, just say I hate you in a very angry, like, yell at me and say I hate you. Okay, my line is I hate you. Yes. I, I hate you. Uh, hey man, you wanna get high? Oh, uh, it's Steve Agee. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, 
Hey, I was just, uh, I was just at, I was just at Sarah's and, uh, like... That fucking bitch, she told me what to do! All right, man, uh, uh, can I, can I just sit here and play on my phone yeah, for a Yeah, man, you're a All guy right. that gets me high, it's fine. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll do that. Yeah. I will try that, I'll do a, a hey man. I, that's, well, yeah, I mean, I remember when you first met my parents and we were like, 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 like it was so weird because I kept getting upset because if you're around your parents, like, there's no way you can ever become, like, it's a, you always, like, prep yourself. You're like, okay, now I'm 58. My parents are almost dead. I definitely am done with this. I'm not going to start acting like a child. And then we started playing catchphrase with my parents, and my, I was on my mom's team, and she was like, I don't know, Tweety Bird? And I'm like, the buzzer went off, and I went, you cunt! <laughs> Uh, where did that come from? Like, I, I, but it was where it came from. Is where I called my mom the c word Holy because shit. she couldn't guess what Tweety Bird was or something. I, 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 but it was because it was because within three minutes of her arriving, like in front of Aaron, like my mom has this weird like capacity for she doesn't understand what she's doing. She could figure out how she's to call you kisser. fat, like like without. She's like Houdini of calling you fat. Like <laughs> the key was in my cheek. It was in my boot. It was in my, oh, no, no, sort of my like, She knows like there's, there's no way she goes like, like she has to call me fat somehow. Like she f always figures it out within three minutes. It's like like let me know how much weight I've gained. And and I, I was just like it's unbelievable. And, and then I swallow that down, and then I'm like... I mean, they say to not date a man who has issues with his mother. <laughs> but, but the gag became you like... you can like, double down. So I was, I was like, start, I, was getting, I was getting jostled. And then our, and we, we, were, we, were, we, were, we were not married yet. We were very much, you know, we were, we were fresh. Were you about to say very much in love? I was going to say very much in love. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. Uh, and so we would... We, it was before I really got... Things change with Steve, and I was getting riled up, <laughs> but then I would get riled up, and I would like it would start to spill over into Aaron, and then you uh, that you were you were like, "Hey, I love you," and and then I would go, "I love you," and it was like, but it was sort of like a joke. It was kind of ironic, and then my dad was like, like like started doing the joke of everyone was just saying "I love you," and that became the running joke. Is anytime someone started to get upset everyone would just say I love you. So it was a joke, but we, but that we all operated as a healthy family for like, <laughs> it, it, was insane. it was like a bit, like, like, like let's do I, that bit where we <laughs> stop getting angry and say I love you, it was, was like this, insane. Was, like that's how we it, needed to parse it. Was this before you called your mama cunt or after you? No, it was, I mean, it was during. around it, it was right. during, I was like, like, like I mean, like, like ordinarily, I think what happened is I called my mom a cunt, and then, and then I said, "I love you." <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I've never, I've never told you this, and I had forgotten about it. But I was going through my old uh, iPad pictures, and I had my iPad with me that night, and I have a picture that's a selfie because you know. Uh, I'm assuming I'm not the only one who takes pictures of themselves in moments that are like, oh God, like remember that moment when you were here in this place and uh, there's a picture of me like wide eyed, um, I'll post it somewhere with like Dan and his parents in the background and I'm just like, I did not, I did not know. Uh, this is this moment, either either in three years you'll be married or uh, you'll be telling stories about this insane, insane night. Oh, I did not know that you were going through that. <laughs> I, I thought you were like this like, 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 like earth goddess that was like, your, your tendrils were just affecting us and that we were psycho like, and it wasn't affecting you. I didn't oh, even no, know I that you were in, like, oh my like, God, I'm I out will, the door. I, I, I mean, please don't take back calling me an earth goddess. I'll kill myself. Um, <laughs> Wait, was I it? am an Earth goddess. Uh, oh. No, no, I mean, I mean, no, no. I, I was having, I was having, I wasn't having a bad time, but I was. There was obviously like so much tension, and it was Dan's mom was calling him fat, and it was very strange. And Dan's dad was on my team and would kiss me after every round, and I'm like, what is? No, but, but not in that way. Not uh, in that way, but in a like, like, hey, I don't, I don't know. He's a, he's kind of a. Hey. <laughs> No. Kiss, like kiss you how? Like, like what kind, of, what kind of kiss? Like a pe peck on the cheek? Just kind of fist? Uh, no, I don't. Um, no, I wasn't even making a hitting joke. I was, I was imagining someone's like licking someone's fist. But I don't, for some reason, just like a. Why am I sharing these thoughts? Uh, 
just, no, but it was like, uh, just a just a just a kiss, just a like light kiss on the lips. But it was a different memory I have. I was like, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like 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 like. But that's not entirely fair to my dad because there was a point where it was like because you two were such assholes together because you were we winning. Were good players, yeah. And you're both incredibly competitive. I learned how to play poker from my dad, and I learned how to cheat from my dad because he would cheat, and the only way I learned how to cheat was by catching him cheating. My dad would play poker with children and cheat. Like, <laughs> he would, like, he would awesome. like, stand up, and I'd be like, ace of hearts under your ass, you fucking dick. Like, he, was, he would take IOUs from us, and I would like mow the lawn, and be like, here's your $5, like, like, like fucking my dad, yeah. But, but like, you know, he was a good sport about it, but all right, I cheated. Like, 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 but, but, and I obviously I'm like, I, 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 but, but, but you and him, way more similar than you, sh like, is comfortable, and you were winning at catchphrase. So the two of you erupted in an amorous fit. There was a round where, so there was a round where my mom couldn't get Tweety Bird, and I'm like, you cunt! And, and the next round is like, my dad was like, it's like a guy, and it's like Saturday Night Fever, and you're like, John Travolta, and you're both like, yay, and you made out. <laughs> and it was your choice, because like, 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 you were very excited. Initiated. No, there was a. I remember. Like, let's not rewrite history. Like you fucking made out with my dad, <laughs> and it's because you guys are the same person, and uh, <laughs> like, like you're so competitive. <laughs> I just wanted to see what it would be like. And, 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 yeah, We're gonna do a Obviously, it turned me on. Obviously. Oh. Right, why? Why wouldn't I? Why? Why would I remember it if it didn't? I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go. Let's cut the show early. I'm gonna go jerk off to. Uh, oh God. Aaron making out with my dad during catchphrase and. Uh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. So uh, for, for, like we we started a little late, but I th I imagine there's another show after this, so we can't go like over. There's an. Hour. <laughs> it's yeah, not is that up to you. Andy? There's like someone in the back going. Hoo! Do these people know what they're doing? Um, uh, I'm sure there's some guy coming in that's like, you know, gonna sweat it if we fuck up. But so, so we should definitely try to. Uh, we, 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 I'm, I'm sure these people probably want to see us do a proper. Uh, Shadow run time, you guys. Role playing, right? Why not? I, I I'm, enjo I'm, I'm enjoying Shadowrun as a game. I think I, I, I like the Shadowrun world. It's like uh, it's it's it seems like e e it's just a good time. <laughs> Just a good time. <laughs> I, like, I mean, uh, I, I, like felt, I felt a, I felt a little thwarted during our uh, our Bigfoot campaign when I tried to uh, talk I, to Chipmunk. I, I I came down on you too hard. I, I, it was because my ambition my ambition is the enemy of my friendships. I should be more intimate and in the moment with you guys. I should not plan ahead. I'm a I'm a megalomaniac. I try to control things. It's, it's interesting. Like you, you were trying to meet Sasquatch by shooing him away and, and try to beat uh, Spencer to the contrarian punch, and I was trying to meet. Uh, the best way I knew how to meet uh, uh, a myth mythological beast was by being in the mythological universe. Yeah. That's deep. <laughs> I don't believe that. I think you're lying. I think, I, I, I feel like you just wanted to have an emerald dagger <laughs> and low light vision. I, I did, yeah. I don't think you thought that was going to attract Bigfoot. No, I, I thought that that would be the fastest way that you, you use low light vision and an emerald dagger to meet and then to communicate with chipmunks. Yeah, if you knew how dumb that sounded. I, 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 like, like you, but you, you, you know, you know chipmunks aren't going to help you. That was just you. You were like, I need to, I, I, need, to, I need to have with, an edge. I you wanted like, to communicate with the forest and, and like, like link into the... the Jeff, be Steve. Huh? Be Steve. Be, be Steve? Yeah, just try it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 No, she's saying, yeah, say, hey, man, and offer to get me high, because you're, like, now I'm turning into an asshole. All right. Uh, uh, Dan, Dan, you want to pass down the character sheet so we can kick this motherfucker off? Oh. All right. No, I wasn't really mad. I, uh, I know, I know. Okay, all right. But, 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 I, I didn't want to have a moment backstage. We're like, wait, what? <laughs> no, we, 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 were both, we, we were both trying to help fight. in different ways, and it was, uh, was cross-purposes. Yeah. Uh, so so who, who is uh, Steve playing? Will he be Dr. Friend, probably? I think I gave him Dr. Friend, yeah. All right. I walked by those same two yeah. homeless guys earlier today, and they called me beautiful. Yeah. W were, those, I, were those the guys that like my coat, probably? Yeah, yeah. They called, yeah. They called me, like, speaking to the vanity thing, they called me beautiful, and I was like, oh, thank you. And then I passed by them another time, and I was kind of like, here it comes again, and they didn't say anything. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> and I may have even brushed my hair before I turned the corner. <laughs> oh, Portland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying your puritanical outfit, Aaron. I mean that. Like, I, I like that look on you. It's very. Uh... Thank you. This yeah, is I don't know what you, Yeah. What's, what is what is what is sexy about that? Because I I, I, <laughs> I, I, I saw you, you look very beautiful, and I, I I don't know what it is because it's like not typically like I don't know. Like... I like the clean lines. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You like the clean lines? Was, yeah. yeah. Simple. Yeah, maybe it's just the yeah the unbridled kind of uh, yeah Underneath stability, tumors. unbridled stability. Unbridled. <laughs> <laughs> this is your new perfume, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be the worst, the worst title to our uh, podcast of all time. She takes no chances. We're, She's reliable. Where unbridled meets sensitivity. She doesn't go out because it's unsafe. <laughs> she um, believes in witches. She might be one. She might not. <laughs> All right, Spencer, shall we let's? <laughs> shall we let's? Do, do we have a, a, guest, we need a guest backup artist? Or, uh, uh, yeah, T Teo from Finland. Teo from Finland? Yeah, I don't know. Wait, is that, is that a character? It's the new character Dan's playing. No, it's, no, uh, it's he, wrote, he wrote the recap. Yeah, oh, so Tale from Finland World of Recaps. Sorry. We invite people to write uh, recaps if you ever want to write uh, what Spencer does and recaps our uh, last venture. It I was asking me. if we needed somebody. I'm wasting our, our last 10 minutes. I was asking if we needed anybody to play anybody. Are we, uh, are, are we missing a character, Spencer? Uh, I mean, yeah, but it's fine. Is Let's that, just do should, it. We, 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 we have a, like, a gang of friends upstairs. We can bring somebody else down if we want. We got, yep. Yeah. But, <laughs> I, I, is, is Jonah, Jonah Ray here? Joni, you want to come down? Joni Ray, everybody! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this guy. Freestyle, Joni. Freestyle. Rap, rap, it is rap. Pattern shirts. Man, that song just got me so fucking pumped. <laughs> it did. It did feel. Like, it's it like, was well, amazing. Let's do a different kind of show. Like yeah. maybe we should have come out to that. Uh, yeah. All right, play it again. Play it again. Let's fucking fire this up from, from the top. From the top. Yeah. Uh. Just for a second. Just for a one. Two. Yo. Yeah. Jim yeah. Knight. Jim Knight played yeah. rap. Yeah. Jim Knight played. Yeah. Yeah. I fuck it. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah. Portland on the ocean. Yo, I like to eat seafood. I got, I got your mama, and I'm in the mood. I'm gonna go to the northwest and cut down some wood. I'm gonna find big food. I'm gonna camp with your mama. Gonna, gonna fuck her and ride away on a llama. Dumb, dumb rhyme. Yo, yo, it's Portland time. I wanna have a massage and fly a kite. I'm gonna walk my dog, but walk the fucker right. It's a pretty flat place with a lot of stuff for your dog. Space, with floor space. Yo, yo. Golden doodle. Yo. Golden doodle. Spring, spring, spring. Springer spaniel. Yo. I got a big dog, a working breed, and I saw logs. My dog's real smart, but he doesn't think that I don't have a heart because he's got lots of land to walk in and I'm in Portland. L have, a donut. have a donut. Nice. Don't don't patronize me. Nice. I appreciate I understand. You you paid a hundred dollars. I understand you need to think that was entertaining. I don't people, want to deflect a compliment. People stood in line for three hours for that rant. And, and that's Tasty. why. But, but don't debase yourself. You have Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> it was a bad rap. You admire a bad person. Everything you think is entertaining is bad. Have a good week. And he disappears. <laughs> hey, Jonah. Hi, Jonah. How's it going? Hi. Hi. I'm glad I inspired freestyle rap. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> Which character is Jonah going to play for us, Spencer? Yeah. Uh, I got, I got, uh, what's his name? Hacker? Hortigard. Oh, what's Hortigard, his name? Hortigard, of course, yeah. yeah. Demorge's character. We were I mean, joking at breakfast. It's, uh, the Jonah, Jonah Ray, his last name is Ray. So we were talking about the, the, what you call your fans. Like the <laughs> people that like Bones, Hart Hansen calls them boneheads. 
uh, and that Jonah Ray jokingly at one point addressed his fans as rapists. <laughs> And that's, and that, that was a real bad idea. And then every, every once in a while, a guy still comes up to him in like a fabric store and is like, hey, man, I've been a rapist for yeah. five years. Uh, uh. Really like your podcast. <laughs> no, 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 not here. Not at the fabric store, which I commonly frequent. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere but here. I was, a, I was a rapist before I met my wife, but then I turned her on to it. Now she's a rapist, too. And we, <laughs> The only other option is Jonah Racist, and I don't know if that's even any better. I'm a Jonah Racist. Oh, no. All right, so you know the rules. You have a a sheet of paper full of arithmetic that uh, you're too drunk to read, and uh, Spencer is a beleaguered genius that suffers through. Hey, that's very kind. Uh, It's not a joke. I appreciate it. I love you. I love you. you. I love you, too. He says, staring into the bottle. I can't look at you, but I love you. (laughs) Look look him in the eye and say it, Dan. Look, 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 make eye contact with Spencer. Make eye contact with Steve and say it. That I love you. Yeah. (laughs) Steve. What? I love Spencer. (laughs) (sighs) (sighs) What the fuck? (laughs) He wasn't even. (laughs) That was just abusive, Steve. I. uh, All right. Spencer, I got you high. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is what weed brings. All right, Spencer, you ready to rock? <laughs> huh? Here we go. A little shadow run. Yo, yeah. Shadow <laughs> run. Circuitry. Neuromancer, inspired by William Gibson. Fucked your mom so hard, she, her, she had some lips and shit. Okay. Last time on Shadowrun, the gang was back at the bar where they found a mysterious magenta-clad man magenta-clad man with a bow and arrow. Meanwhile, Jim sat in the car guarding the restrained Arturo. Not convinced with his reassurances, Nightblade went John Travolta in the back seat and blew the helpless gangster's brains out before throwing the stiff in the nearest dumpster. The gang's fixer, Teddy, revealed he hired a brooding bowman hacker called Hackeye, who was around to help with scrubbing surveillance data and destroying digital evidence. And the gang found themselves a new gig, acquiring Baldwin Brown's research from a brain clinic secured with vibration sensors, cameras, and guards. The runners agreed to jump in Hackeye, whatever that meant. But would his prowess help them pull off their first clean shadow run? Would he be able to keep deflecting Mercy's moves, or would he get his boffin's balls kissed? Find out. Harmon time. Thank you. Uh, thanks again to Tio from Finland. Thank you. Yeah. So you guys, you're at Hank's Last Stand. It's a rusty old bar. You're in the middle. You got Hackeye, the magenta-clad stranger with a bow and arrow, sitting drinking a water, and you guys just got your mission from Mr. Johnson. Uh, the mission again is to do what? Sorry. You got to retrieve. <laughs> you got to retrieve research files that belong to Baldwin Brown from the confines of Mind Plus Limited, the Brain Clinic. Can you refresh me on what we had done to Baldwin Brown? Did we just hand him over? You hand him over to a company. You sold him to a company. Yeah. And so there's files belonging to him that we want, and these files are in Mind Plus Limited. Yep, they're his research. And they kind of scolded us on our last... Not them. That was Teddy. Oh, okay. I just care about you guys. All right. Yeah, we're kind of like... Bad shadow runners. Like, we were just <laughs> right. just to, told, good job, you finished, but your score is low. So, so we, I, we, I, I, I pulled the whole team aside, except for Hackeye, who, whom we've just met, and we're told it will be helpful. And we said, like, when we talked about jumping this guy in, like, we, how do we know we can trust this guy? There must be some sort of procedure. That well, we he can... was recommended by cool Ted. Teddy. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, we can, we can do uh, what we did when we, when we first met, when we were testing each other. You give him an old Tennessee reach Tennessee around. Tennessee witch rat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tennessee reach around. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's take him out back. Hey, let's, 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 let's all give him a Tennessee reach around. Yes, yeah. 
We, no we all there. wink at each other knowingly. Yeah. yeah. Who's playing? Uh, Are we about to rape somebody? <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck is that. What the fuck who's, is a Tennessee Reacher? Is someone at? playing this I character? Love Jonah Ray. Uh, this I love is Jonah Ray. I love Jonah Ray. It's got him pretty edgy. It's got him pretty edgy. Uh, I, as I remember the Tennessee Reach Around, what it is is we, we say we like we we're gonna trust each other, and the hardest thing to do ever is to have someone behind you. Right. And so, how can you always? How can everybody in a group always have someone watching their back? Yes. And the answer is the yeah. Tennessee Reach Around. And you, you, we hold a weapon in our right hand, and we make them expose some skin on their stomach, and we say, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hurt you there." You have to stand still, and if they stand still for a minute and believe you, then, then they get that weapon, <laughs> and they get to join the team. And that's and then that's we the reach Tennessee around. reach around. Yeah. <laughs> There's no reaching around or Tennessee. It started in Tennessee. Yeah. I thought we, we. I, yes, and. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're. <laughs> I caught were myself. You, I caught about, myself. Were you about to tell everyone to get out of there, get? Or? No, I was gonna. I was gonna pitch a different thing, but. The, uh, let's, like, let's hear, I mean, I mean if you uh, remember it differently, I mean, it's been I, so long. I thought. I thought it was when we all got in a kind of like leapfrog type line where <laughs> everyone gets to okay. experience someone whispering in their ear, "I've got your back, bro." Yeah. And then you go around so that everyone knows that everyone's got their back. Like, you could just stand in a circle. And say, I got then your everyone's back to... behind everyone else's back. Oh, yeah. Oh, God damn it. I already... Oh, wait. Who are you? Hordegard. My name's Hordegard. Hordegard. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's the smart one. Yeah, yeah, let's do it in a circle. Okay, right. we, we all go out in the parking lot in the, in the back, and we, uh, we get in a circle, and on the count of three, we're all going to say, I got, you I got your back. Yeah. All right. Okay. One, two, two. two. So, do we say it on three or one, one, two, three, go? We'll, we'll say it on the four. The, so, the one, four, two, three, four. four yeah. Yeah. Whatever we're four. But don't four say four. Can I just don't ask before we do this? I mean, should we should we jerk each other off? Well, no. I mean, that's that's just, that's just, only that's if we Tennessee reach around. Yeah. 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 Right. A lot but of people that's ask what we that. Get a lot of people ask that. Shouldn't we have a secret? No, this isn't. This isn't. I say, can I can I make a pitch? Yeah. When we one, two, three, we all we all whisper gently. I got your back. And then if you want to start jerking somebody off, you can. But you only got eight seconds. That's called a, ten make... a Tennessee reach around with a Seattle finish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I thought right, maybe they hated Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> I took a chance. <laughs> who's standing behind who? Huh? Who's standing behind who? I'm standing behind uh, Hortigard for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody. All right, so one, so, two, three, I got your back. If you want to jerk somebody off, eight seconds, and we're done. But you can't make and, them. Right, otherwise, weird. They're, they have to be exposed. They have to, they have to want so it. So if you yeah. want it, expose you yourself your... in that moment and put your hand I guess, around. I, I guess the, the, the cleanest way to do this is for us to all take our pants down before we start this. So yeah, it's, so it's ready to go. yeah, that's the only right. way. Dicks out. Dicks out? Or, or and right. I, I, I'm, I, I'm sorry to continue. I'm to a woman, it. so yeah, I... Yeah, we're both women. Um, I'm gonna say, you know, I don't. It's 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 a lot more invasive to be entered as opposed to just like tugged. So maybe just like a pat. Entered. <laughs> also, I'm yeah. a I'm a dwarf. So are you gonna be able to reach down and around? Oh, uh, most certainly. Most okay, certainly. good. Yeah, yeah. How can the person in front of you let you know that they're open to this if we're all dropping our pants? <laughs> Every. Everyone that's everyone okay. that's available for this right. do pigtails. Well, when we, when we count to three, you pull up your pants if you don't want it. On the count of three? Here, 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 so here, 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 we count to three. I have to urinate really bad, so nothing might come out. Oh, my God, me out. too. Right. I'm gonna, I got to go to the bathroom. Really what if you pee instead of cum? Exactly. <laughs> what on, is the on, difference? On the count of three, everybody close okay. your eyes. If you want to take your pants down, you take your pants down. Uh, um, and then we open our eyes, you look at the person in front of you, if their pants are down, that means they're open for the Tennessee reach round with Seattle finish. Okay. Then we count to three again, and then we say, I got your back, and then if you want to jerk somebody off, eight seconds. Uh, Why don't we all just fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's clearly what we're trying to get at, and we're not doing it, we're just playing these games. Also, don't we already know each other? <laughs> We, no, no, yeah, is, like we're jumping we a stranger to, in, but we're like but we really. Have to, we all we, we, don't, we don't know hack guy. We don't new. believe in hazing. We believe in like hack we're, is we're a now new we're a new group if we're bringing somebody hack in. Hack guy is a new technomancer we've just met at the bar. We don't know this guy. So Who, he's a robot. He, he's part machine, part man, right? <laughs> so he's the one that we can't even <laughs> jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he's a jerk off machine. 
I will tell you that in a Tennessee reach around, there is a phrase we use for the guy that doesn't drop his own pants and then is willing to jerk off the person in front of him. What's the Robert E. Lee's. <laughs> Republican? No, okay, come on. Wait, I know exactly. They're 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 not they're not conservative. They're just they just hate hat comedy. Um, uh, let's do it. Okay. Wait. So hold on. So just so we count to three. Count, and count then to three. Close your eyes. Count, count to three. We Drop close, your pants or not? Eyes, take your pants off or not? Okay. Then we count to three again. Open your eyes. Look at the person in front of you. If their pants are down, then you that, that means they're willing to. To get the Seattle finish from the Tennessee reach around. Right. So, so it's one, two, three, how, how go. Are you going to show? Okay, so if your pants are down, you raise your hand. You raise your hand. So we have to close our eyes. No, no, you don't have to raise your hand. Your, your, your pants no, are no, down. No, 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 but I'm but saying I mean to represent stage, it on yeah. stage, yeah. we should raise our hand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we close our eyes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who's that? I know. Is Hakai even with you? Is Hakai even with you? is like the audience right now and it's just like what is, is the, yeah. happening? Hack guy walked away as we've been is trying he, to figure this out. Right? No, he didn't get invited out back with you guys. Uh, oh shit, he's still at the bar. Uh, I'll get him. I'll go That's get him. good he though. Left. That's good. We should yeah, go yeah, get yeah. him now that we know what yeah. we're doing. Should we have Craig come back up? For okay. Craig, are you here? While we're Craig, waiting, can we Craig, all you? just practice our Tennessee reach arounds? <laughs> yeah, we should practice. We should do a practice round. I think so. All right. Close your eyes. One, two, three. inside. Oh, come on, Aaron. I'm inside. All right. I'm inside. Well, this is going to work out easy. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good good, good job, what? guys. It, do we just okay, so no, I have to, I'm grabbing him. Oh, you got, you got yeah. Hawkeye? Uh, Hawkeye, can I, can we, can we talk to you outside? Yeah. All right. This way. Uh, just be open-minded. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, man. Hey, uh, <laughs> got Hawkeye, um, I haven't, I'm gonna explain to him what's what's going down, but we're gonna okay. we're gonna do I, we're gonna I, do our rituals. I've never I, been to I, feel like, I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, but lay it out for him. Yeah. No, 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 Sp just, Spencer I, at the bar, like at one point, was like, ah, I forgot my Shadowrun notes. I'm like, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna be fine. What if what if we saw like we he got his notes and we looked at it and it was like uh, may, uh like needlessly argue about jerking each other yeah. off yeah. Yeah. like a exactly. whole map yeah. it's like yeah. 3 seconds then <laughs> raise your hand and, yeah. uh, um you know what? Let's let's stand in the circle Hawkeye. The part of this is just trusting each other. Um and I'm not going to I'm going to explain this, and we're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to do it. You were um, here when we uh, decided who was going to take our pants off. Though. Oh, oh yeah. How do, what? Oh, we should, I don't know. We had our every, eyes closed. Every, basically everybody. Yeah. Everybody. But he, we should count to three and give them the opportunity, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, at the count of three, if you want to if, if you wanna get jerked off. <laughs> <laughs> or no, if you want to be in this brotherhood. <laughs> we're, or what, what is this? We're the it, toughest gang in town. Yes. <laughs> It honestly is if you want to get jerked off because it's not, it doesn't preclude. Also, are you guys hard? Like, how is this working? Are we like. Well, That's none of not your business. Right. I'm a, I'm, well, I will be in I'm a, a moment. woman. I'm a woman. So, yes. Right. <laughs> um, so, it, it is. Okay. This is one of the moments when I imagine a floating uh, mom head <laughs> with her eyes just. <laughs> could have been a lawyer. <laughs> and a floating hand coming up above the head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are gangs who beat the crap out of their new people, and which is a dumb move in terms of Darwinism. It's like, oh, this new guy, let's make him physically injured. This is what we do. It's about choice. There's no wrong answer, or so you don't know. Uh, let's get in the circle. All right, let's do it. Get in the circle. Okay. All right. Nice. One. That's quick. All right, close. close. I got your back, bro. I've got your back. Uh, I've got your back. <laughs> oh, okay. man. Oh, I've okay. got Hat guy's in. Hat guy's in. Hat oh, guy's in. Who's behind him? Yay. Who's behind him? I don't know. I don't know. It's up to uh, you guys. Hat guy likes it. Probably Jeff. You're behind him, right? Eve. Uh, Eve uh, yeah, I'm behind you, Hat guy. <laughs> and, and, uh, Okay. Oh, that's why he raised. That's why he dropped his pants. He's in front of a 19-year-old. It doesn't uh, matter. This is this, a, this a, is a, successful. A we else. did it. All right, guys. We did it. Close your eyes. Get ready. We've uh, all just agreed to a jack what? off orgy. <laughs> it's a circle jerk. All right. So one, two, three. Uh, we're all we all agreed, right? Wait, we already did we it. Just we did just did it. it. No, 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 no. We have, now we have to. No, we each other we were. Yeah. What? Oh, I thought we. Why are we closing our eyes? Just do it. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cliffhanger. Yeah, how else would you end the show? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, are you Steve be... Agee, I'm reading around. Jonah Ray, Aaron McGathy, Spencer Crittenden, Craig the Sasquatch Hunter, I'm Jeff Davis, your mayor is Dan Harmon. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can I give a special shout out to... Uh, Aaron's first improv art director, Trenton Shine. I think she did really good improv tonight. <laughs> I would say that was some of the finest shadow running we've ever done. Oh, man. So, yeah, <laughs> we love you, Portland. We love you so much. Thanks for having us. Thanks for coming here. And uh... Did you get any of that? It's a good show.